We are back <laughs> and better than ever, folks. Welcome yes, we are. to the Saltcast IRL live in studio. It is rebuilt and better than ever. I'm joined as always by my fantastic panel of nerds, business partners, co-hosts, whatever you want to call them. Matt Vader's here. Welcome, sir. Hey, how are you? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing? tweeting. You're Can tweeting. Move on. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay, cool. cool. Yeah. You All do right. your you do your thing. I'm doing I'm doing my social media stuff. That's you were supposed do. to do that an hour ago. I did it an hour ago. I'm doing it now. <laughs> People have to know we're live, right? Jude is also here. Hello. Cheers, Jude. Thank you for bringing oh, the whiskey. I want, I want some of that. Oh, you want some of it? Oh, okay. cheers. Cheers, everybody. What's Welcome. Up? And the producer, businessman extraordinaire, hardest working nerd on the planet, Matthew Kadish is here. What's up? So uh, I was here until midnight last night with mm -hmm. the two of you yes. getting the studio in broadcast shape. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny when Alex said better than ever, I was like, <laughs> it's not quite we're, there yet. We're, we're, we're still working out some really. kinks. It's it's good than ever. <laughs> it's gooder. Well, it's, it's better than it was last Sunday. We're it's, back in our seats. We have microphones in front of us. We have some cameras. Most, we have some equipment. Most, and we have the ability to speak to you. We're like ninety five percent there. But yeah. what I mean, when I say better than ever, I mean maybe I should specify more secure than ever. Tougher yeah. than ever. Tougher than ever. I don't know if I can get in here when you guys are here. You you can't. I gave you the I wrong pass I'm terrified Good. to set off the alarm <laughs> accidentally and like ruin our relationships with all of our oh neighbors. My God. I'm afraid like uh, Ed 209 is going to come around the corner Dude, and blow the shit out of me. Have you seen the uh, the alarm system on yeah, the outside of the I building? Have. Right? So, it's ridiculous. Guys, on the outside of the building, there's like this orb that sits above our door. <laughs> And when you when you arm the security system, it glows red. And I'm like, it's gonna start talking to me any minute now. It's like, like, I'm sorry, you can't get back in now. One of my neighbors has a security system, and every time I walk my dog, I forget that it's there. And every time I walk past their driveway, it goes, "Hello, you are on camera right now." And I go, "Oh Jesus!" But what, what's weird is the, uh, the security system sounds a lot like when Matt Vader talks. Mm. <laughs> We're having too much fun today. I want to address the chat real quick. Welcome, everybody. Nick Clark says, sorry to hear about the break-in. That really sucks. Yes, it does, but we're back and we're good. So thank you so much for your kind words. And to this community at large, uh, people that follow us, people that watch our stuff regularly, you guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. One of our members, Gorin... Am I saying that right? Gurin. Gurin. I don't know. It's got an umlaut. I don't know how it's <laughs> Hey, Salties. What's up, man? Thank you for being here. Oh, I Thank think you. that's Goron. Goron? I'm going to go with Gurin. Do, do a phonetic spelling yeah. of your name, please. Astro Nerd Boy is here. Chat failed. I hope something didn't fail. What failed? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. What's know. up, Astro? Thank you for being here. I don't know why I pulled that up twice. My bad. Uh, let's see. Broba Fett's in the house. Broba. Hail the SJWs. I want to give a special shout out to Danny's mom, Penny, for sending us a very nice check. Oh, yeah. she's the sweetest. Yeah, I, know. I think we might have to frame it. Oh, uh, yeah. It's adorable. I go into Seinfeld mode. A check? Well, she, yeah. A, a check? Really? <laughs> like, that's, that's really nice. It's very she, sweet. But she, I don't even know how to, do we cash a check? I, I, what do we do with this thing? I don't, I don't you, it's very pretty. It's got nice little flower designs on it. Beautiful handwriting. It's, uh, it's mm. beautiful handwriting. Right? Yeah. Yeah, you can know. just take a picture of it with your phone and have it put into your. I know it's very strange. I don't know what to do with checks either. I don't either. I'm I've not. never written it's and like, or received a check before. My really? entire family still uses checks. Really? Yeah. Wow, it's such a boomer thing. It's, still it's a boomer thing. To pay, <laughs> pay rent. So. I'll get a. I'll get a check on my birthday. Oh, I'm that's right. You I have one of those it. big professional checkbooks. It's like the publisher's clearinghouse checkbooks. Mm. I'll, I'll get a check from my mom and dad every. Penny every says, birthday. "Cash it, you moron." <laughs> <laughs> we don't know how. We forgot. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the the banks are all collapsing anyway, so yeah. we're good. Just send us some Bitcoin or something. Um, <laughs> no, it was it was uh, it, the the generosity from our community and the community of all the other content creators in our sphere uh, was beyond belief. We would not have been able to bounce back this quickly without you guys. So genuinely, 100%. thank you. Uh, yeah. I wish there was so many different ways that I could thank you besides just saying that and also just creating fun content for you guys to enjoy yeah so, we're what uh one week a, behind. a week behind but yeah. we'll, we'll make up for that next week we uh we weren't able to get quite what we wanted done today but we yeah. are ready to go well, going forward we we literally worked till midnight last night and yeah. and, and and all morning to get the studio into shape yeah. well, i should say 
you guys did. Yeah, I was going to say I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. wasn't here I, at all I, yesterday. I, I supervised. I did what I do. I, I took Alex's wife to the spa. <laughs> yes, you did. Thank you for that. <laughs> and I got our margarita drunk. <laughs> yes, you did. Thank you for that as Kadish well. Kadish would hand me a box to take to the garbage dumpster every once in a while. It's like, thank you. I will make myself useful now. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It was just <laughs> did super, great. super did great. It was, just, it was just nice hanging out with my friends. It was cool. It was I, cool. It was I, nice I like those night. late night uh, yeah, I do too. work efforts. It's fun. Yeah, it's good stuff. But I uh, wish it were under better circumstances. I do oh, too. for sure. But you know, yeah. he had a half a stiffy all night long holding all these cords in his hand. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> oh man. Dude, I these found cords are great. I have a love. weird kink for cord management, you do. dude. You like I get down kink. there with zip ties and, and Velcro <laughs> and I'm like, this is amazing. <laughs> it's like taking a bowl of spaghetti and then organizing it mm-hmm. per like, okay, this is this is an audio cord from the headphones let's put it with these ones <laughs> this is an hdmi cord let's put it over here this is a computer usb like i love it I have for, a theory. for those of you out there you might have noticed that alex uh, color coordinated our did. Headphones. Did. you're I so did. cute I'm green. and it matches the roadcaster colors we made kate pink so now i we have a more. theory that the thief didn't actually steal all of those zip ties and cords and shit they're all at your house <laughs> <laughs> and then the son of a bitch left ones that he just yanked out of the back oh, of things yeah. yeah that were stripped and bent and we're like what did he do it's just it was a bar barbaric move what a what a a complete savage savage. yeah Yeah. Yeah, terrible you'd think if you're going to steal something to either use it or sell it you'd be a little bit careful listen he was in a hurry it was really it was harder to break in than he expected (laughs) i can imagine him taking our stuff and going to the pawn shop and the pawn shop guy going Hey, I mean, there's like half a cord <laughs> sticking out of the back of it from where you yank it out to wherever you There's it just from. wire sticking yeah. out. Seriously, yeah. yeah. I mean, you guys can see the picture. I think we posted on Twitter. On Twitter. It was on Twitter. And, yeah, we posted a picture of... I think on Instagram, too. Yeah, Instagram and Twitter. Yeah. We have a photo of an HDMI cord that's just like barbarically ripped apart. Um, and there no, was, no, that was, that's, that's how they come. That's uh, <laughs> That was like two or three of them that were like uh-huh, that. Uh-huh. It just was brutal. Yeah. It was shit. like, what did you do? It was like, it's I felt so bad. bad. I like a tear yeah <laughs> but we're back. we're back he was already committed and he was like now nah, i just gotta i have a time allotment i spent <laughs> three-fourths of that trying to get, <laughs> trying to get in. in so now i just have to rip out what i can yeah i'm of the uh i'm of the uh, uh opinion opinion that your meticulous weird ass zip cording and and cord management probably prevented him from stealing more mm. um it's part maybe yeah, that's probably. part of the security matter yeah. I mean, the pole right behind you has like 17 Velcro straps. It does. It. Yeah. It's ridiculous. You're not getting that off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let me uh, show you audience. What oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. There, there's the cord. And that was attached to uh, there were, Kadish's monitor. There were monitors. several of those, I, I believe. Yeah. There was at least two, maybe more. I wonder if he says, uh, subscribed. <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. Well, Hi, I'm really embarrassed. You, you know, that's <laughs> like, I, I was wondering about that, whether or not he knew who we were. <laughs> And who you know, like what channel to look for, but we don't uh-huh. have anything like salty near besides these glasses, which I don't think yeah. we're here. There's nothing that has our name not on yet. it in the studio. They're not yet. So I don't know. But he's not that smart, so yeah. it's fine. We're moving on. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> better and bigger and better and stronger and faster. Kevin, the steep was barbaric. Speaking of which, um we uh had a pretty good ratings uh bump yeah. oh, over man. last week. It hey was, man, if you ever want good ratings, get your shit stolen. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a bad way to do it. That's a bad don't way to do, do that. Don't do that. Because <laughs> yeah. you might not be able to recover as quickly. But you guys should get robbed yeah. more often. Mm-hmm. Make a fo- make a phone call. We'll have somebody down. What there did we? Uh, how did our ratings go, Matt? So, um, on we've been really focusing on the podcast end of things, like audio only. Do I sound weird to you guys? I'm no, you sound no, just you like you're good. good. Okay. All right, cool. It's uh, just the new headphones. Yeah, yeah, maybe. So um, basically, uh, we were keeping track of the Apple charts last week, uh, and we were surprised to see that we hit number one on the Apple charts for film reviews in the United States. Suck that, Grace Randolph. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, we were number three for film and TV in general in the United States. And then out of all podcasts in the United States, we hit number 55. In the world. No, just the U.S. The U.S. US. But that's pretty, that's incredible. because our our uh, audio listeners, like our YouTube channel, has been expanding quickly yeah. because of our our team. I, for, up. I forget that we have an audio podcast. You know, <laughs> I, I have really a do. love for forgot. the audio only because that's how I yeah. consume yeah. podcasts, and, yeah, and I would like for us to give the audio listeners yeah. some love. And, yeah. and, and you know what's funny is like, so when we drive around, sometimes we listen to our podcast, our own podcast. You listen mm-hmm. to yourself in yeah. your car. Yeah. He that's makes weird. us. <laughs> yeah, that's very strange. It's quality control. <laughs> He's like, here's something I've noticed. And yeah. he puts on an episode yes. and I'm like, great. Uh, well, I, 
I was trying to point out that like <laughs> I, I I think that we sound better than we come off on video. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> well, nobody wants to look at this all the time. This is this is hideous. Hey man, you I'm, shut the fuck up. Me and Jude are gorgeous. What are you yeah. talking about, dude? Look at this curl in front of my forehead right that's, now. That's very you, much that's, on purpose. That's, Do you, you think that's Clark, an accident? You are Clark Kenting. You are yes, you very I, much are. It's yeah, not, that's kind of ridiculous. You need to fix this. This is not an accident. You need you need to fix this. Have you seen the movie Cry Baby with Johnny Depp? Yeah, fuck yeah. Okay, heck yeah. Okay, that's what I'm. That's your inspo. Going for it, man. Shout out to my sister Audrey. I don't even know how to do that. You don't have any hair. He's bald. I go, I'll bring you some. Look, as long as I have a full head of hair, I'm going to go with the Clark Kent curl. Okay. That's just it. Yeah. But so <laughs> last week, <laughs> while we were at our lowest, we were also getting our biggest ratings and the most support we've ever gotten from Seriously. the community. Seriously. It's really funny. Yeah. Wah, wah. Looks like uh, yeah. looks like our, our guest of honor is has arrived. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Uh, Kadesh, why don't you go ahead and introduce him? Welcome, sir. Let's add him to the stream. Boom. There we go. What's up? Nope. What happened? I don't know. We're working on it. Hold on a second. He's Boom. like, there we go. Hey. I don't know what's happening. There he is. <laughs> hey, Mark. Is Mark his, hey. Is his hey, guys. What's up? Hey. Hey. All right. We're good. There we go. I don't okay. think so. I have internet. Okay. <laughs> I'm in the middle of the Dallas suburbs, and you would think that Wi-Fi would be dependable. They're, they're, yeah, it's, yeah it's you're coming better. in good now. It's I don't even better. know. Yeah. I don't even uh, know. Anyway, uh, Mark, I have known you for a long time via Twitter. You've been a guest true. on our Salty Saturday yep. live That's streams true. before. You are a big professional, but also have good taste. So we wanted to <laughs> welcome you on our Tuesday live stream and have you uh, kind of talk about uh, some of the projects you're working on and just chill out with us and talk about stuff. I love it. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, no worries, man. Welcome. Uh, I, I'm, I haven't officially met you yet, so thanks for joining us. Um, tell me what it is that you do here. To take a quote from, <laughs> oh, to take a quote from Office Space. What do you do here? Do you do with the goddamn customers? What would you say oh, you do man. here? <laughs> uh, Matt, how, how would I answer that? What, what do oh, I you do? You are a true renaissance man. Man of many, ta man so. of many talents. I do, uh, I, do, I do various and sundry things. I'm technically... <laughs> I told I told Alex to try not to talk about vaccines with you. Oh, dude! <laughs> no, hey, man, don't, don't. after the show's over, dude, I got so much information to share with you. Don't even yeah. say the word. We get canceled. Are you voting for? Uh, uh, what are you doing? No. RFK? No. Are you doing? Are you no. voting for RFK no. this year? Uh, I I, I want to be friends with him. Not going to vote for him, too. but I want to be totally friends with him. Too. Yeah. Um. I quick aside. We won't talk about that word. But I got so I'm an anesthesiologist. Oh wow. Which is a kind of doctor. <laughs> but uh I got I'm a big so... fan of anesthesiologists, let me say. <laughs> Everybody is. I like those guys. Those who the remember man with us. the drugs. Uh, no, that's right that's on. true. That's actually that's exactly correct. Um I got so pissed. Not that we're gonna go on and on about but we're definitely talking about this after the show. <laughs> um, I, I saw on Twitter a, a mass general uh attending, and then I heard in real life in my own operating room this idea that you know what? Why are we even treating these unvaccinated people who oh. get COVID? And I'm like, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Do you know what we do? I've done vascular surgery on a guy on his eighth vascular surgery and still smokes two packs a day. We don't care. Mm -hmm. I've done anesthesia for a gangbanger who was the third case of the day, whining because he was, he was hungry uh, and he had a broken arm. The first case of the day was the eight-year-old kid whose mom, dad, big brother and little brother this gangbanger killed because he was fleeing from cops so like we don't ask if you deserve yeah. medical care sure. or at least we yeah. shouldn't at, like even if you're the one who did it to yourself um yeah and and then to hear this idea from like people in positions of power even in the context of medicine that you know why are we even treating people who got sick because they like they didn't do it to themselves, right? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so I, I re actually, yeah, you had something to do with this, uh, Kadesh. Um, thanks to <laughs> our, our friends, contacts in in Russia, um, at old Russia today, uh -oh. that ended up being a platform. And I, I, yep. I, uh, I spent about six months there writing op eds, uh, scolding uh, irresponsible Americans who somehow thought that this was some sort of uh, exclusion to we take care of patients regardless of their behavior. Mm -hmm. 
You know what I mean? It, it was, I, got, I got mighty, mighty salty about that whole thing. Yeah. It was yeah. a dark time for sure. Yeah. For sure. I, I don't want to we'll talk more. I don't want to be accused of being a, a Russian bot or anything. Like <laughs> you know, when I was writing editorials for RT, um, it, it was interesting because I would talk to the editors and um, they would always be like, like, look, just be honest with your opinion as long as it's factual. You know, like we're not going to like, uh, like there was a lot of things with RT where like they could have told me, you know, like give it a anti whatever bend. Mm -hmm. And they never did that. And in fact, they were always like really professional about like fact checking stuff and, and things like that. Not, I, I always thought that they kind of got a bad rap because they are state sponsored media. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, like yeah. they seem more professional than like CNN for right. the most part. Yeah. When you were working for them, I mean, it totally stressed me out. They were like, we, we, look we, at me. We you, are, <laughs> you are Russian now. Yeah, well, we had a great time calling you a Russian asset. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, anyway. I, that was my experience too, though. It was bizarre because, you know, I, Rocky Four, for heaven's sake, you know, Red Dawn, like that's, that's, that be hunt for red october but yeah. actually working with them it's like oh you want to hyperlink all of romans chapter 13 and you're scolding to the governor of new york yeah no problem go for it just, <laughs> just wait a second this isn't what's happening right now anyway yeah russia so mostly i'm a russian bot that's what i do <laughs> cool uh, no. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I've never I, seen one before. <laughs> we're lifelike. So, so what you're telling me is that you're AI generated and we're just looking at a computer algorithm of human. what a human is. This is the future. It's a little bit, a little bit. Uh -huh. I, that, that's that been a recent gag is um, me doing chat GPT. I asked chat GPT AI. Oh, y'all should do it. I can't believe it hasn't caught on. But I asked chat GPT AI to write something ridiculous and then I write it and format it and then it looks like it's AI. And I've been shocked. Even the most <laughs> ridiculous thing like... I asked Chat GPT AI to uh, you can go to my Twitter and, and read some of those because there's a lot of them uh, to write a, a rap about dating a fat girl in America and then do the just the most ridiculous thing and people are like wow AI is really good at this <laughs> seriously there's nothing that wrong was, with that that was me no 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 it was just <laughs> the, 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 the big girls need love too for yeah, sure yeah. that's yeah. what the rap was about yeah. Um, I, I was always, I was amazed by it. What was it on Saturday stream where you guys were talking about sh the Shane AI that, uh, the podcast guys oh, have Shane, created it's crazy, right? That is insane. Sounds just like Shane. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a buddy Shane who narrates all of their videos for their YouTube channel and his brother, Brian created a chat AI version of, of his brother to narrate the video. So his Brian's real brother chat, doesn't, oh, Brian's in the chat. What's up, dude? Right. Um, and I watched the video where he was like, this is an AI version of my brother doing the narration. And I was like, there was only one or two parts where I was like, Oh, that's AI, but the rest oh, of it was so clean. It was yeah, so I, weird. So I, I, one of the other things I do is write books, and I got a couple of novels out, um, and then I got a like four children's books out, um, and they're all through the same publisher. Probably three or four months ago, he showed me some of this stuff, like audiobooks. I've only mm -hmm. done the audiobook yeah. experience one time yeah. because it was one. It was a rough, gruff guy was a main character, and then for the for the girl, he'd do falsetto. I'm like, she doesn't sound pretty. I don't know if they would follow up. <laughs> um, but he was showing me how, I mean, it's going to be five years. And if you write a novel and you want an audio book of it, you will be able to cast that book. Like, yeah. okay, I want Sean Connery for this character. <clears throat> yeah. I'm I'm and they, and, I mean, see, it's going to be oh, bonkers. They're already, it's right there. There are already AI voice changers yeah, out there. Yeah. We're basically like okay. have one, one voice actor and he just hits a button and instantly like his voice is different, but it keeps the same like uh, inflection and, uh, and, you know, pace and, and. Sure. I think you've been muted. Uh, technology is going places. I, I just hope, I mean, isn't that part of what the writer's guild strike is about too, is like studios are trying to use AI to, to, write a script well, I mean, and then on. they're giving it to the writers for a rewrite because rewrites are cheaper than having a script written from right. scratch. Is that, is that accurate? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was one of the issues where basically you'd have these scummy producers who go, go to oh. chat. Oh no, we're good. Sorry. Somebody said we were muted in the, yeah, like it happened again. So like, oh. remember when we oh. said we were back and better than ever? And yeah. I was like, yeah. we, have, we have a few kinks to iron a couple, out. Yeah, a couple things happening. We're not quite sure how. Well, I, I think there's something going on with StreamYard because mm -hmm. like the same thing happened to me and at my workstation oh, in the other okay. room. So anyway, we've been muted. No, no, it, 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 I, I caught it real quick. Oh, okay, good. Um, but uh, so scummy producers have been using chat GTP to write 
full scripts mm -hmm. for free, basically. And then they're going to hire screenwriters to come in and rewrite the scripts because it's cheaper to pay for a rewrite than it is to pay for like an entire script to be produced. Yeah. And so a part of the Writers Guild's grievances were that, you know, that's not fair um, because basically the AI scripts aren't good enough where like they have to come in and rewrite, do like a page one rewrite, which is basically rewriting the entire script. So it's, it's basically the same amount of work as generating a script, but for oh, way less money. So I could go in and go, hey, chat GPT, can you make me an outline for a three movie sequel series to Star Wars? <laughs> and then I could spit that out. Well, I wonder. And then I could go, here, Kathleen Kennedy, you should have done this. To <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, is that, is that, well, that always what, do it? Like what and, Shane did with his thing was he gave the AI a bunch of their videos to watch and listen to to learn how to mimic Shane. Yeah. What we could do is it's like, hey, I want a Star Wars movie, but I want it directed by some like a Quentin Tarantino. So okay. you have the AI chat watch a bunch of Quentin Tarantino movies oh. and then say, okay, now write me a script for a Star Wars movie in the style of weird. Quentin Tarantino. We could do that. And then we could I just I want, I want to be able to do a, a uh, AI voice modulator where you sound like me and I sound like you. Why would you want to do that? Because I like your voice and I don't like mine. Oh. Because then you would make my voice sound better. You think so? Yeah. I don't know. And I can that. make you sound like a moron. <laughs> so really it's his dream. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> really, really waiting in line for that one. You guys uh, are drinking very slow today. I'm, I'm sorry. Out. Should we drink more, Jude? I apologize. Uh, I'm Thank kinda, you for pouring I'm, us. I'm kind of sipping this. I came in today. Jude came in today and goes, Jude, I don't really want to drink. I'm, I'm just chilling today. And she goes, No, you're drinking. We need sipping whiskey. Not sip what whiskey. I said. I said, I'm just going to pour you a sipper. And he said, I'm good. And I said, Does that mean you want a sipper? <laughs> Because I'm good is, it can go either way. And he went, okay, fine. And I was like, <laughs> I just, okay, I'm fine. Not, I'm not going to argue with you because I'll lose. That's it wasn't fine. an argument. It, it wasn't because we never started one because in my head, I went, eh, redhead. I'm not going to fuck with her. And I, I don't want to even argue with it. So. <laughs> it's true. I'll drink you it. You can't argue yeah, with a redhead. That's all, it's half gone. Are you drinking it? Yeah, I'm good. Good boy. Good yeah. boy. All right. Uh, let's see. What else can we talk about? So you have a new book coming out. If you, I know that's why you came on the show. You wanted to, uh, to come. Oh, I want to talk that. about all this stuff. I'm a huge Daisy Ridley fan. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. You no, just, that's, not, that's not really, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a moderate, I, I'm, I'm ambivalent. Uh, so, a, a nameless comic book artist and I speaking of this all came from the chat GPT gag that kind of blew up and, mm -hmm. uh, we, I don't know. Can y'all, I can't share my screen. So I stumble no, I, into yeah, most can. of my, I can? Yeah, you totally can. Just go down to oh, uh, um, present. Oh, I see. I thought that said present. Like that's what I click <laughs> at the end. You get a present for me. And then like, I get a gift for them. You it's gonna are be a sweet summer child. I always find it funny when highly educated oh. doctors don't know how to live stream. Uh, we don't know a lot of stuff. <laughs> are you kidding me? Um, I found it fascinating that you're an anesthesiologist. I, I did not know that about you. That's, that's really? really cool. No, I did not. I, I love anesthesiologists. My, the last one I had looked like Wilfred Brimley. And um, I let him know about it when I was going under. And I, know, that yeah. guy? I know I know an anesthesiologist who does look like Wilfred Brimley. Yeah. I doubt it's the same guy. Does oh, he work at oh. UMC? No, no. I'll be honest. Most of us do look like Wilfred Brimley. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, mean, I was like... That's, got diabetes. diabetes. Hey man, you sell some diabetes drugs? It was like, <laughs> no, it was ridiculous. I was, we do have. Oh, I said I was a fool. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I stumbled into doing this project. Uh, there's a. There's a. Y'all don't watch British television, do you? Uh, yeah, sometimes. sometimes depends. Uh, uh, have you ever ever seen the IT Crowd or or more uh, earlier than that, but more probably famously, uh, Father Ted? Father Ted. No. Whatever. You can. Wiki they have Wikipedia entries. Okay, you can look them up. Um, <laughs> th there's there's an Irish screenwriter who who has done a lot of kind of legendary, like I created the Friends show, mm -hmm. um, that kind of level over there across the pond, as they say. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and he kind of he's been real in the sort of J.K. Rowling ring of the the whole trans issue, which we won't talk about too much because I, I don't want to get political. But this is more like my brain coming up with a funny gag. Yeah. Um, but he he put it on his sub stack and then uh, a comic book artist who is at least mutual friends with some of you guys um, jumped on and say, hey, let me let me illustrate that. So we ended up doing a crowdfunder. Um, 
and it's called Ma'am I Am, and it's not terribly political. It's just <laughs> mostly good. It's mostly a good time. Um, it depend, I guess it would depend on on who's reading it. I read it uh, yesterday, um, mm -hmm. and I, I got an email from a friend of ours with, with it, and I was like dying laughing the whole yeah. time because yeah. it's Dude. super accurate, it's, but you very read inflammatory. It, right? Yeah, yeah. It's so it's and, cute. And it really, it's it, cute. It, it, it's cute. And uh, I will tell you, at the end, the guy who misgendered gets arrested. So, really? oh, there's a good what's, okay. Yeah, spoiler. There's a, there's a yeah, happy yeah. ending at the end of that. That's yeah. that's good. Well, uh, anyway, <laughs> again, and it, it's really aimed at the misogynistic aspect that really, mm -hmm. really bothers me for a lot of reasons. Where, yeah, the women I mean, actually are being harmed. They're getting kicked off podiums, and they're getting, uh, I mean, some things we won't talk about here. But my goodness, um, I'm going to try to present this so we can see. Uh, here, so your screen should. Pop so this up. is this is a crowdfunding crowdfunding site that is newer but was highly recommended called i guess let's try this i don't know once well okay then do it it's not well, doing uh, that entire um, screen for those of you out screen. there who, who want to uh, check out mark's thing there's a link in the description oh, uh, to take you right to his crowdfunding oh, perfect. Okay. Uh, site I, yeah. I think the best way to describe mark it? is is a based Dr. Seuss, right? Is, yeah, is that well, that's what this version is. Yeah. Is, the, is the Tooth Fairy book that you made in the same art it's, style? It's Toot Fairy. Toot, sorry, Toot Fairy. Is, yeah, that, is it in the same art style? No, slightly different, but those are hilarious. And there's a video of Elijah Wood reading it, which makes me very happy. That's, that's um, very cute. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll figure out how to put in the link. Completely right. different genre. To talk. Okay. Um, yeah, completely different genre. And I'm. let me tell you the difference between me and Dr. Seuss. He's not a real doctor. I am. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Uh, no, that is not it. I don't make up words. My vocabulary is extensive enough that I don't have to like fleaser my flazer, <laughs> you know, your your wazer, um, which you literally can't do. They'll say you're being too much like Dr. Seuss. You make a nonsense word. Well, I Dr. Also, Seuss also hated children. Is that uh, right? yeah. yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Yeah. I love uh, Dr. Seuss. Well, everybody, like most guys are rough on Dr. Seuss. Seuss. He, yeah. well, I'm, I, I'm beefing with him, though. I know it's posthumous, <laughs> but I'm I'm real jelly of his big sections of bookstores yeah. that I want. That is a difference too. That he is, you know, the best-selling children's author of all time, and I, I'm not. I'm not yet. I also yet. too much. Yet, yeah, thank you very much. Um, I also did not cheat on my wife and drive her to commit suicide <laughs> and then marry my mistress and broke up yet. her marriage either. <laughs> <laughs> yet. Ouch. Um, I don't know how to do this. Why you got to ruin Dr. Seuss for me? Wait, Wait, is that all real? Is I that didn't know these things. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, no, that's you totally can't real. actually say that until after you're dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> Those are the rules. Yeah. yeah, no, he's dead now. There's nothing you can do about it, but that is all true. Wow. Um, I'm going to go fleaser my flazer right now. Oh, what? <laughs> Let's, we, you're good. <laughs> this isn't, isn't going to make it on YouTube. I don't know how to do this. You can go to Fun My Comic, and it's Ma'am I Am, and it's not doing it. I want to show you guys a whole dadgum book. But that's not working either because Google Chrome is. Well, if it. you can, you, if you send an email to Kadish, we might be able to pull it up on our screens. Right, if you on. if you want to go with that, yeah, um, I'll work on it. But let's let's talk about more stuff. Okay, um, I, before we move on, I want I have a request. Um, are you familiar with Bill Patterson? <laughs> Am I familiar with Bill Patterson? Okay, just making <laughs> sure. Yeah. Just making sure. Can your next book be in the art style of Calvin and Hobbes, please? I would I, I would love that. I don't care what the book is yeah. about. I just want to see more. Bill Patterson. Bill, Bill Patterson. Like art. Art. Yes, and I will say some of Ma'am I Am, which mostly cribbed from Doctor Seuss, but not all. Some of the the artist was channeling a little bit of Bill Patterson in some yeah. of the character art. I, I will say I I felt that flavor a little bit. Yeah, yes, I, he's, I, he's the greatest. You, now that you mention that, there's a scene where um, the uh, how do I say this politically correctly? The ma'am. The, the ma'am. The ma'am is in the background and he, they have like a, a mischievous face and it looks just like like Calvin and Calvin when he has a mischievous face uh -huh. and, and yeah. he's like doing something he's not supposed to be doing. So yeah, now that you mentioned that, I want more of that. Give me more of that and I'll, I'll be all in. 100%. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to hear from a publisher who passed on this book and then said, well, it's just too spicy, too spicy, much too mm. spicy. Not even the spiciest book that we've done. Um, <laughs> that's that's oh, I got to show you the Fouch. Not now. Hey, I, I have Ooh, a yeah. I have a question for you. Um, you. This this book is kind of dangerous. 
Um, it's politically charged. It's politically charged. Has mm. has any? Have you gotten any threats? Has anybody gone after you? Or no, yet? it's too hilarious. <laughs> okay, I, I'm, just, I'm curious That's because look, if, if it, I'm a little if worried happens, about you, man. If it happens, I'm kind of the point. I, I mean, and I don't even know how much. I like. I care that I don't get tomato juice thrown on me. But <laughs> just to get to get a little bit serious, that really did happen. Like the people who are who are taking their lumps for this, like Riley Gaines, the the swimmer mm-hmm. who got beat out by a dude. He's just a dude. He's a dude. He's a right. dude with maybe a affiliate, but um, she literally got chased by a mob and kidnapped for hours in a closet. Um, yeah. There's a there's a gal named uh, well she goes by uh, Posey Parker, but Kelly Kelly J Keen in the UK was attacked and like someone threw tomato soup on her in New Zealand because she said a woman is an adult human female. There is an mm-hmm. Australian woman named Sal Grover who is in the middle of the most delightfully named uh, lawsuit case in history, Tickle versus Giggle, um, which is hilarious. It really is called Tickle versus Giggle. And that just makes me so happy. Uh, The whole thing is terrible, actually, uh, because she wanted to make an online space just for women. And a fellow who calls himself Roxy Tickle said, I'm a woman, too. You have to let me in. And they said, you're super obviously not, though. Uh, and mm-hmm. he sued her under Australian law, and they're in the middle of a massive court case. So these are actual examples of women who, I mean, I, I guess you could count J.K. Rowling too, and she doesn't care that much because um, she's a billionaire. She's a billionaire, but you know, it still sucks. But there are examples yeah. of real overt misogyny around the rest Western world, which is really right. what this is talking about. It's not the whole issue yeah. it's mostly I'm, just the overt misogyny uh, to the point of absurdity right. you know what i, I just, mean yeah uh, i just there's a lot of crazies out there man i'm worried about you and, and you're and you're dipping your toe into a world here where yeah you know you it could be a little bit dangerous so i i just want you to be careful that's all yeah, I'm saying. I, I totally here's, here's the thing, totally here's, here's the thing. if if mark and i appreciate acts that in, if mark acts in real life like he acts on twitter he is fearless yeah he's and not I afraid to yeah. uh to you know pick a fight <laughs> so yeah, i need I'm to gonna, I'm kind of the point though, uh, like, okay, how, how much worse can the West, can Western society get? Um, <laughs> I don't know. That's a loaded question. But the problem is it can. And yeah. it's like, at what point do you say, well, F all you guys, like, this is where I take my stand. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because the stuff coming down the pipe is, is not, it's not good. Uh, okay. And it's not fun to talk about either. So I'm not going to. Uh, Matt, I sent you I sent you an email. Maybe get okay. Uh, while we're waiting, anyway. for that, I, I need to issue an, an embarrassing correction. I can't believe I messed this up. It's not Bill Patterson. It's yeah. Bill Waterson. Thank yeah, yeah. you, uh, Blacklist Universe. I, I'm actually yes. embarrassed that I, I mispronounced his last name. Uh, I would blame the whiskey, but I'm not that drunk, so I can't. <laughs> you do haven't that. had that much. I haven't. Yeah, had that. Uh, we, need to, we need to address Nadia, our new moderator, oh, really quickly. It, yeah. Um, if you get mod powers, you can't go to In and Out in the middle of the stream. Oh, unless back. you bring it to us. Unless you bring us. Something. She's yes, local, so, right? Yeah. Is this the per- yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Um, if you're not so, bringing In and Out to us in the studio, what are you doing with your life? I don't know. <laughs> Come on. No. Anyway. wasn't Bill Patterson a Doctor Who? I don't know. Um, don't don't embarrass uh, us. Bill, isn't don't, Bill don't Patterson like a novelist? Or <laughs> I, I've no, on, it could be. On, I mean, there's a lot of Pattersons out there. I work with a guy named Dan Patterson. So maybe you guys, that's we, we're, we're already getting enough crap in the chat because we didn't watch the it crap. Okay. Right. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of comments about that. How from dare you? Some of our super supporters are like, yeah. "How could you not watch the It Crowd?" I'm down. I've never seen it. I've never okay, seen wait, it. wait, wait, wait. Is it the It Crowd or the IT Crowd? How IT. do you pronounce it? Well, I don't it know how be you IT. say it. Probably well, I know, crowd. but yeah, is it? I don't. It's hard. I know what it's supposed to be, but I got to ask Graham. I'm gonna I mean, ask Graham. Techni- <laughs> technically, it should be the um. What is, shit. What does IT stand for? <laughs> well, it's a, it's information you. technology. Yeah, it should but be the information I, technology. Crowd. But I don't that know how. Be. Well, right, but I don't know how to pronounce it. So hold on, I'm gonna actually um, send a DM to, <laughs> right. to the. Here we go. Can, know, we, can we flip hand. that, or is it sideways? We're gonna read it sideways. Uh-huh. Anyway, this is the this is the book, guys. Spoilers. Yeah, spoiler alert. Um, for this book, while we're while we're, <laughs> maybe I'm so confused right now. I'm out of my loop. It's been a couple of weeks. Yeah, we're, we're, a little, yeah. we're, a little, like, we're not quite as loose as we oh, are. Man, I'm kind of embarrassed that I'm not on my. You got to scroll down. That's not a very fun page. Yeah, what are we doing? There we go. <laughs> Dude, what gets me too is the, 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 the prickly, the prickly hair. Just, yeah, <laughs> disqualified. 
<laughs> yeah, this is the book, guys. If you follow the link below, you can help support them. Uh, it's a, it's a very comical kind of um, would you call it s a satire on on modern? Oh, fiction? I don't know. Or is it more than satire? It's satire. All kinds of yeah, I'd say it's satire. It's just the polemical work that I did in the car one time. It took me 15 minutes because I was waiting for a surgeon. Did you say polemical? Yeah, yeah. Polemic. No, I'm, a, I'm an that's, author. That's a, polemic? That seems I'm, like that's a word this week all over YouTube. Polemic. It is. Mean. Yeah, they were like really going into polemic stuff on FNT Is that this like week. when you're throwing up politics yeah. all the time? I don't know. Very, 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 yeah, polemic. Yeah, it's kind polemic. of a... It's... it's, 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 it's <laughs> It's sort Divisive. of a, a, a snarky, uh, irreverent take yeah. on politics. It's, mm -hmm. it's just political satire is very political. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, like I didn't it. know there it's, was a word. It's, it's a fancy word. For that. It's a fancy word. It's that. a fancy word. Uh, we're going to take care of a couple super chats real it's quick, and we're going to start getting. <laughs> you sound just like Kadish. I know. You know you get, you, they get along so to well. Saturday morning. <laughs> yeah. God. Kadish always invites his nerdy so author smart. friends. I'm so like, smart. And they're using big words. I'm and I'm like, big words. I'm just going to fuck off over here in the corner <laughs> and, and type hey, to the chat. Hey, remember that time we were at a convention and people came up for my autograph? Yeah. I'm a, a oh. selling author. And Alex and lost his down. mind. I was like, what is what happening right what? now? This is not real. What? This is weird. Uh, we got a super sticker from Gavin Blackburn for 99 cents. Thank you so much, sir. Also a member. Welcome. Uh, I hope that you're checking out our members only content. It's a lot of fun. Uh, let's see. The Astro Nerd Boy, $5 super supporter. What's up, man? Uh, I am ashamed that you guys have never see? watched the IT crowd. Seriously, you need to fix that ASAP. Okay. Well, we might. We'll we put might. on the list. We'll put on the list of things. Maybe we'll talk about it for our uh, Patreon members. I was just going to say, we talked about uh, maybe do, doing something switching different for Patreon. Up. Yeah, switching things up for Patreon. So maybe if we get enough people into that, that'll work. $2 or two pounds, sorry, from Whiskey Jack. Holds up a crappy beer. Screw you, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> is that a reference to something? I don't know. Probably a Doctor Who thing. Is that a Doctor Who thing or is it anesthesia? Is he anti anesthesiologist? Is that what's Surely happening? not. How can, how can, no, that's impossible. Is that no. impossible? Everybody loves their anesthesiologist. Yeah, it's a fact. That's the one thing we all like. I've never favorite. had surgery. I don't know. I've never. He's your friend. Every He's time. He knocks you out. Yeah. Every time I've gotten surgery over the last year, uh, like the anesthesiologist comes up and is like, hi, I'm introducing myself. And I'm yeah. like, oh, you're the guy with the drugs. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, watch party would cool. Our Astro says a watch party would be cool. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're yeah. done. We're done. We're, we're we're setting things up uh, for for moving forward after the uh, after recovering from the got robbery. A lot, lot of stuff going on. Uh, let's see. What is our first topic for the day, there, Mister Producer? What do we got pulled is it up? Fast and the Furious. I think it might be Fast and the Furious. What are we doing? Uh oh, what's happening? Uh oh. You okay? Yeah. I'm just, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm shaking the rust off. Yeah, we're <laughs> rusty as hell. There we go. Fast and the Furious trilogy. Okay, so I read about this the other day. Vin Diesel Wait, on the red carpet. Trilogy. Trilogy, right? So the studio is like, hey, guys, we know you're polishing things up, and 10 is a nice round number. Three more. But why don't you make this finale a trilogy? Wait, a, a finale trilogy. A finale three trilogy. Part three finale. part finale, fast 10, 11, and 12. I feel like this is some season eight Game of Thrones <laughs> bullshit. We're just Jesus. all going to be like, okay. Okay. I mean, listen. I mean, man. if that's what we're getting. I mean, it, it's kind of <laughs> like when they asked the Harry Potter guys, can we split this into like two movies? Yeah. And, then, just... and then Twilight was like, hey, that's a good idea. Listen, man, the movies make money. They're milking the yeah. shit out of this. Oh, of course they are. Yeah. Those two, they need to. I can't wait to see what they do next. They already this, sent a car into space. Fast, listen, know. man. It was glorious. Yeah. Did you, did you watch it in theaters? Fast yeah. Oh. Looks like your mic was unplugged, it said. What is going Okay, so, so it's happened we, again. Are we okay? Yeah, we're okay because now we're right. getting we're getting dings when it happens. At least we get a noise alert. Ding. Yeah. That's so Very weird. Strange. We're gonna have to figure out what's going on with we that. We got but we got teeny tiny little gremlins up in our up in our microphones. Well, this light above our head was going on and off last night. This yeah, yeah. just randomly. To tell you yell about it. I think our no, uh, I think our equipment still goes through PTSD. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so violated by gremlins. <laughs> yeah, but Fast Nine was absurd, and now they think we want a trilogy I loved out of it. The Dude, I love, I'm listen. down. I'm hella down. I, listen, at my it's experience with the Fast and the Furious tri uh, uh, franchise is. I checked out after Tokyo Drift. I really like oh, Tokyo Drift. Oh, God. Tokyo Drift is the worst one. I had so much fun with that one. I just, uh, I don't know why. I just did. I had okay. fun with it. 
You I'm know not, what? I, I, listen, you're I, done. I'm never going to claim that it's a great movie or anything, but I had fun with it. But then after that, I kind of was like, ah, eh, whatever, Fast and Furious. And then I went to the theater with my best friend to see the Who? ninth one. But I was your best friend. My brother. I was just going to say we didn't go to that together. My yeah. brother-in-law is my best friend. He's my best friend. His name is Justin, and he's awesome. Want to fight? Um, yeah. Okay. All right. You guys can do that later. <laughs> but anyway, I went to the theater and saw Fast Nine, and I, the entire theater was like it was like a comedy movie and it was so funny yes! because it was, it was so absurd yes i had so much fun that it got me back into the franchise yes! and i was like you know what this ain't so bad they, kind of, yeah! they, they, they became self-aware about they did they were they did and i'm so okay I with that it a little bit and more. so now i'm like looking forward to the new ones because what else are they gonna do it's like, it's like watching these new king kong movies, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah there's those in the meg yeah so, so dumb no. you just kind of well, gotta own it <laughs> Jude hates the Meg, but I, I love the Meg. She's going to hate us when we watch Meg 2. Are we going to watch Meg 2? Oh, Bro. Just yeah. the mention <laughs> of the Meg 2 makes me irate. I got a, 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 a YouTube alert on my phone that was like, hey, there's a new trailer for the Meg 2. And I was like, fuck you for even <laughs> saying that to me. Yeah. I can't wait. It looks so great. There's dinosaurs, Jude. Dinosaurs. Come on. Yeah. She's giving me the death stare right Best now. Fast 10. Fast 10. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> wait. Can, can, can I... I got a little. I love seeing Vin Diesel make so much money. Uh, yeah. Although I'm, I'm exactly like you. I checked out after three. I was like, these car movies. This, this is it. Yeah. They don't even have Vin Diesel anymore. Um, I have Universal. If you're watching, or Vin, or The Rock, The Rock. <laughs> listen. Do they still have beef? I don't know. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. But here's my problem, guys. I'm talking to you, Universal Studios. Make him I, full screen. Let I, him go on his rant. Make him full screen. I have tweeted <laughs> you multiple times, and this is your only opportunity. This opportunity will never happen again, and you know it won't. You haven't made any marketing material with the tagline "Fast Ten Your Seatbelts." Oh, jeez, <laughs> missed and opportunity. Listen, and listen. You're never going to get it again, and this franchise is never going to be rebooted to make it to 10 again. This was it, and you blew it. So when this movie fails, <laughs> that's, uh, that's it. I need, I need you to you know. You just figured it out? How long did What was <laughs> the delay? Don't forget to fast 10 your seatbelt. Oh, exactly. Uh, that's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, how, many, how many people would go Listen, to the theaters just I'm, because they saw that ad? And I just also a, realized that you're a proud Hufflepuff. Me. <laughs> yes, I, I am. Little, I got this. Uh, oh, I, I actually got this yeah. at uh, Universal Studios. Nice. And ironically, the worst ride in that whole theme park, and most of them are very good. Uh, even the random ones like E.T., which is super, super old school, kind of creepy animatronic puppets. Still, still kicking. The Fast and the Furious ride was so boring. Oh, no. I didn't know they had a ride. I don't think I even they, rode that it's one. It's barely oh, no, a ride. We, we did. did we? We, we did. It, did it, it's kind of like you're on this like car and you're there on are these bus. projections uh -huh. uh, on, on inside this barn wall. And it's like yeah. you got the actors actually like acting out their characters. But huh. it's like when super... You say the, when you say the actors, it's like Ludacris and Jordana Brewster. Yeah. <laughs> because they, they didn't have a lot else going on. It, it's, it's not but, even Ludacris. It, it's like the, the other black guy. I forget his name. Tyrone? Not, Tyrese? Tyrese. Yeah, Tyrese. Yeah. Tyrese. It was, it was it, it, you're, on, you're on this box and it's supposed to be a bus. And you're going to the party because the family's party and parties for the family. And we're going to party. <laughs> and uh, it just kind of wiggles. The bus wiggles. And then there's like a, a projected video to the side of Michelle Rodriguez punching a guy on a crane that's somehow traveling 90 miles an hour. Um, and then there's helicopters and the whole, it is neither fast nor furious in universal. There's another <laughs> beef I have with you. Make it a dadgum roller coaster for heaven's yeah. sake. Cause all it does is wiggle you about while you watch projections of Michelle Rodriguez, punching people off cranes. I love it. Did you it's guys not, hear? It's not that, good. I think yeah, I had to have been Universal. Somebody the the um Back to the Future ride is now available for the Oculus Rift VR. You could just download it, and it's like it's just like being in the yeah. in the seat at Universal or whatever studio. I think they Parker did the was. same thing with uh, the Star Wars one. Was did they? One, I think I'm not the Millennium Falcon one at, at Galaxy. No, or? Star Tours. Oh, Star Tours. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah I got gotcha. you. Um, that sounds like fun. I really like. I wish. Yeah, kind of I wish I didn't hate Facebook and Zuckerberg as much as I do because I would totally buy an Oculus. But if they if you buy an Oculus, you have to link your Facebook account to your Oculus to get it to work. And if you do something on Facebook, like you post about Trump or something, and you yeah. get your account 
deleted or whatever. It, he who should not be named. Yeah, I, uh, I, can, I can't buy one of those. Then if your Facebook account gets like hammered or whatever, your Oculus Rift then becomes a paperweight and you can't <gasps> use it. And I'm like, that is ridiculous. Yeah. Especially for like a five hundred dollar piece of equipment that you're buying. Yeah, I get you. I'm like, I'm not, I can't do it. I'm not gonna buy I, it. I, I, well, I can't well, you do set it. up a sock puppet Oculus Rift account <laughs> that you don't use for anything other than your Oculus Rift. But they'll as a way still around find it. you. Yeah, they'll still because you have to there's like emails and phone numbers. There's like triple verification now for your accounts these days. It's absurd. But that's I, why I don't I, buy one. Yeah, I'm not, I, I'm not I would, doing that. I would just use it for porn. <laughs> so for I the can, Oculus Rift? Yeah, I can't do it. What do we Oh, we had a very strange discussion yeah. that we should probably reserve for the members only mm -hmm. area. But maybe, maybe. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh yeah. All right, we got was this at midnight last night while <laughs> no. you guys were No, here it was alone? like nine o'clock this morning. Oh, good. <laughs> we got a super chat from Whiskey Jack for two pounds. Fast and Furious Bombadil's Revenge, <laughs> dude. Listen, man. Tom Bombadil. Tom Bombadil. <laughs> he's the goat. Like, nobody's gonna convince me otherwise. <laughs> I want to ask you guys, who do you think they're gonna bring back from the dead, or? introduce as a new family member that dom missed well, out on they're bringing the rock back they're bringing no his, his grandmother's in this movie and he never he's never had a grandmother in any of the other movies Isn't until it now Mirren? it might be probably <laughs> <laughs> some old Dave white lady judy dutch <laughs> it's, it's, yeah seriously it's some old white lady and she's like magically dom's freaking grandmother and i'm like i don't understand it's what's galadriel happening. <laughs> <laughs> Kate Beckinsale. Not I Beckinsale. was watching you all along. Kate and Blanchard, you're right. right. It is all about family. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, that's what I think that's I actually the new can't believe. Movie. I can't believe Kate Beckinsale isn't in this franchise yet. She should be. What's she, she doing? She seems like, like she would make a lot of sense. She did like uh, a, I saw a her chick wick flick recently, right? Yeah, she it was really bad. I watched five minutes and I had to turn it off. Yeah, that's usually what happens <laughs> with those chick wick flicks. Isn't uh Brie Larson in this new one? Uh, yes. yes. She she is. Is. Oh, dude, Damn. the most the cringe worthiest part it, of that trailer is when Michelle Rodriguez, who I love, uh -huh. I watch her in anything, is like face to face with Brie Larson. Oh, I rewatched Avatar and, last week and I was like, oh, shit, I forgot she's in. This. Yeah, she's in that, too. And then and R.I.P. too soon. I know. Right. They asked her to come back and she's like, I'm dead. What's the point? Yeah. <laughs> But uh, she's talking to Brie Larson, there, and they look at each other, and they're like, game recognizes game. And I'm like, Bleh. Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Please, Michelle Rodriguez is on a whole nother level. She is, Brie Larson has a long way to go before she gets there. You guys hate her so much. She maybe maybe they should uh, introduce, uh, uh, what's her face? Amber Turd. In, she's in, never going to work in the again. next movie. Did you see her pooping she can, in she Spain? Can, she could be like Dom's. Like I heard boss. about it, but I didn't watch it. I just it. saw a still photo. I didn't watch the video footage. I just saw sure a picture of it, and I was like, no, I didn't watch it. <laughs> she could be <laughs> Dom, I think, uh, long lost stepsister from his third daddy, from his fourth Maybe, mama. But who's going to hire her anymore? anymore? Wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me that Amber Heard took a dump in public? Yes. What? Yeah, in Spain. In Spain. And she was caught on, on this like a security. CCTV. Yeah. This is new. You didn't hear about this? No, I did How did you not hear about that? Uh, it was a couple weeks ago. Know. Was it that long ago? Mm -hmm. I felt, I feln't like know. fairly recently, but I mean, I'm not, I don't really keep up with news very often, but I just saw that. And I was like, wow. She, has a, she has a thing about fecal. Pooping, yeah, pooping in public. Fecal matter. Pooping in beds, pooping in public. Remember that, remember that bar with John? So where weird. they were like, wasn't it, maybe it was your dog, Mr. Je Depp. And he's like, my dog is like this big. Yeah. And his turds are like this big. And this thing was like this big. <laughs> <laughs> it's so absurd, dude. The world we live in is absurd. Um, I'm all for it, man. Give me three fat. Give me three Fast and the Furious movies. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Give me Milk the, the shit out listen, of it. Listen, I'm telling yeah. you, they need to bring like the DeLorean in somehow. And I want to <laughs> see some time travel. Like, go no, for man, it, no. dude. That's our shit. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do that too. But I'm saying like, come on, man. Fast and the Furious with a freaking DeLorean. Oh man, oh, I, I, I would lose my, I would lose it. They'd go full Sharknado at yes. that point, you know. Mm -hmm. just, they need to know. bring in like all of the famous cars. What? Are problem? we good? Uh -oh. I don't know. My computer just bugged out on me. <clears throat> what? My computer's well, I got a white screen. I don't know what's going all on. The, can we have the General Lee in it? Oh, General I, I... Lee. What what was it? Uh was it what was the talking VW? Was it Kirby? Yeah. Herbie. Oh, Her <laughs> Herbie. 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 Herbie did not talk. Yeah. Yeah. Kirby didn't actually talk. Kirby oh, just here we go. Knight Rider. Knight Rider. Knight Rider. Kit. Yeah. Nick yeah. Clark saying, Kit, get Kit in there. Heck hey, yeah. I'm Absolutely. Gonna, I'm going to step out of the room just for a minute. You got a cough? You're right. You got a cough. Okay. okay. Bring, right. bring back some more booze. Something. Yeah. Give me a, give me a, uh, oh, a whiskey and Coke. And some ice. 
<laughs> and you get me a pizza while you're out. Get a tuna fish sandwich. Nadia's bringing in and out. Bring it over here too. Anyway, um, let Nadia in. No, I'm with Jude, man. Yeah. Like, give me all ev- the famous cars. Everything. Yeah. Just Throw it in there. Yeah. In, the, in the last movie. Yeah. Maybe like part two would be like whatever nonsense, and then part three, the actual finale of the franchise. Yeah. Just. And then like the Doctor Who phone booth, but on wheels. Sure. <laughs> yeah. No, they gotta do Fast and Furious and Kong versus Godzilla. Oh yes. My gosh. Yes. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah. I don't care anymore. Just do it. Have yeah. some fun. And you know? then like as they're leaping over King Kong, it's <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it ends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I love it. I, I'm it. I'm all in. I'm all in. Uh what's what's the next thing on our talk? Do you have any final thoughts about the uh, Fast and Furious franchise? Mr. Huff? No, I I'm just you know why I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> just he's feeling his feelings. And seat belts. He's feeling his feelings. We need fast to move on. Beetle juice. Is is uh, are we pulling? Yeah. Beetle juice. Beetle juice. Beetle juice. Don't say it three times. Okay, I have a confession to make uh-huh. before you even talk about You've this. You've never seen. Never it. seen the first one. Never seen it. Sorry. Sorry. Same. I love it's Winona okay. Ryder. You're not a Gina Davis fan, are you? <sighs> um, I guess not. I, I don't know. But huh. uh, we've got some casting news for Beetle Juice too. I, I, I'm just going to pass the the torch to you guys because I don't know anything about the first one. Uh, how do you feel about Willem Dafoe joining the cast of Beetle Juice too? I, I mean, know. it's been a hundred years. They need to recast some people. So is he being recast no, as an uh, old character? He's not. He's a new character. He plays a supernatural cop. So like, <laughs> Love so, it. so like a cop from the afterlife. So you know, like the original Beetle Juice, it was like. There's like this bureaucracy uh, after you die, and uh, it's kind of like um, oh, R.I.P.D. Kind of like R.I.P.D. Yeah, oh, okay. but William Defoe is basically like a cop who keeps harassing Beetlejuice in the afterlife. I'm into it. I'm into it. Yeah. Yeah. That sold you. Yeah. Like I'm curious to hear how big is the Beetlejuice fan base? Is it like huge? Is it has its own thing? It's yeah, it's a classic. Okay. I don't know if it's huge, but it's passionate. It's very passionate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I remember seeing this in the movie theater as a kid. Like, I was a kid. Yeah. And I remember, like, four weeks after, my mom was furious because uh, Michael Keaton says the F word one time. And oh. then I remember her being on the phone in the kitchen. And she was like, and then they said F-U-C-K. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it, it says, and look what happened. <laughs> it says here that uh, the original Beetlejuice actors, Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder, and Catherine O'Hara are returning. I but, love yeah, Catherine but O'Hara. New characters are being played by Jenna Ortega uh-huh. and Justin Thoreau with Monica Belushi <laughs> in discussions to the camera on this guy. <laughs> I wish I had the fat camera. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, his arms are full with energy drinks, alcohol, and ice. I love it. Oh, he's got Tito's. T- okay. That'll Thank work. You, sir. Yes, sir. Right on. No, That's, we finished it. So put it back on me. Nobody sees, needs to see Vader's crotch. <laughs> Woo. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of Jenna Ortega. Um, yeah. Mostly because she looks just like my wife. But um, I'd watch her. That sounds cool. Is she is she like the new surrogate like emo chick for every franchise now? Yeah. She's, in, she's not really emo, though. She was no. in Scream. She's Wednesday. Now she's being in Beetlejuice, which I'm assuming she's going to be. Did you see her in, for that shit? see her in Pearl? Uh, no. What's Pearl? What is that? <gasps> I love Pearl. It's horror. You wouldn't be into it. It's a slasher movie. Okay. But it's basically about like a cast of people in a porn movie hire like uh rent out a cabin to make their movie and then they all get like picked off Isn't one that by one. X? Isn't that from A24? Didn't they make a oh, movie yeah, just yeah, like yeah. that? Yeah. So the first one is X and then the second yeah. one is Pearl. Pearl is, is a... the prequel. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know they made two already. Yeah, they made it at the same time. Yeah, oh. but, but Jenna Ortega plays a um a sound girl on the crew like the girl who records the sound mm-hmm. and then um she decides she wants to be a porn actress yeah and so she gets into you know the actual action of the and porn she's baby she's a star <sighs> my heart just leapt out of my chest <laughs> i thought that was a cup full of water oh Katie, god Katie's just like, screw you man. <laughs> <laughs> here. i'm like we can't have nice things baby no no um, this is going to make ice noise. Oh, can right I? Now. Oh, okay. Yeah, put it on him so everybody knows what's happening right now. He's I making actually, himself a drink in the middle of a live stream. The, no, I actually want the whiskey, but I poured the Tito's before I knew that there was whiskey. Can I give you my Tito's? While we're doing this, Mr. Uh, Huff. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I was just going to oh. finish my thought. Oh, go ahead. Which go ahead. is that if anyone out there is into Jenna Ortega, X is definitely the movie you want to watch. <laughs> oh, really? Like it's mm-hmm. like that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm getting trouble now. Oh, settle down, boys. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe Definitely I shouldn't. Um. Uh, your wife is in the chat i know that's what i'm saying i'm not going to okay it's fine it's not a movie on my list 
Um, anyway, so Mr. Huff, <laughs> your thoughts on Beetlejuice uh, new casting announcement or anything like that? Talk uh, I'm kind of in your boat again. I have I regret to say that I have not watched the first one. Um, I oh I'm, really? Yeah, I've never seen it. It's We're, my bad. I mean, I don't know. We need a we need a movie night, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. Do um, it. Have you joined our, our Discord yet? We do watch parties uh, a lot. No, I will I will join the Discord. <laughs> you guys didn't say you had a Discord. Oh, we got we a do. Discord. Go to saltynerddiscord.com, everybody, I, uh, and it's join. Right it's right there, there underneath Alex. It's is it? right there underneath. Oh, it is I'm already gonna, on. Look at this. We're so I'm going to join, and so should you. There we go. Um, I do uh, watch parties every Monday. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay. Um, Wait, hold on. Broba said he's never. Dude, we need to do a watch party for Beetlejuice. Yeah, there's clearly. way oh, more people who haven't easily, seen it. Easily done. Okay. I, easily done. I am a little bit over by a little bit. I mean, all the way possible. The here's a classic '80s movie. You love it. We're gonna bring back the original actor. He is 30 mm -hmm. to 40 years older, and he, it's gonna kind of it's gonna ru it's gonna ruin everything. Um, <laughs> which is usually what has happened. From everything from Star Wars to, and some of that story too, but Star Wars, I, we're not going to go into what I think they did to every single original uh, actor, but uh, same thing with, I mean, how many have there been so far? Terminator, that was a disaster. Yeah. Yeah. They, which they one? What, which, what, what was the decline of Terminator? Was it Genesis or was it, it before the, that? It was the third one. It was, the third, was one? the third one. The one uh, with Nick, Nick Stahl. And uh, the blonde Terminator girl. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Rise of the Machines. Right. Terminator Rise of the Machines. What was the one yeah, with yeah. Christian Bale? That one was cool. Right? I actually, uh, actually like that one. That was almost a standalone. That was all right. It was, that, that was what was almost... the name of that, though? Terminator Genesis? No, no that Genesis... wasn't Genesis. It was, Sal... it was a Salvation. 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 Yeah. 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 I really liked that one. I thought it was awesome. underrated. I, I, almost, I feel like the premise. Deal. I feel like the premise was mishandled for that one. Yeah, possibly. I would have liked to have seen more of it just be like, John John Connor forming the resistance and fighting Skynet as opposed to like the stupid like you know B plot with this prisoner guy who comes back. Yeah, to I, I thought I thought that movie was good until they got to the robot HQ. Really? At the end, oh, I thought yeah. that was cool, and they had like CGI Schwarzenegger like the T eight hundred come out. Yeah. I, don't know. I thought that was cool because we got to see John Connor in his prime fighting the T eight hundred. I thought it was neat. Yeah, it was kind of cool. I had fun with uh, that. What are we talking about? Oh, Beetlejuice. just old, Beetlejuice. old actors yeah. coming okay. back. I think Beetlejuice. So uh, it, it makes me nervous for the Flash too. Uh, apart from the fact that I the hate Flash? multiverse, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate multiverse stuff. Mm. You mean um, that Batman movie that's coming out? Yeah, it's yeah. not the Flash movie. It's Batman. It's Batman. Um, yeah. But I think Michael Keaton can pull it off. Uh, I don't think he looks like he's yeah. forty years old. I mean, he, he, they'll it, be able uh, to put a lot but, of makeup on him. And I, I, in my head, with the Beetlejuice movie, I just for some reason think that they can do the same kind of thing they did with the, the Ghostbusters movie. Afterlife, yeah, because yeah, that was good. That was a fun movie. I didn't, I, have, any, I, I didn't have any huge issues with that. And, if, and there's, there's still people out there that can make a solid movie. I mean, the exception, wow, though, not the rule. As long as, as long yeah. as they respect the past and and don't yeah. subvert it, then we're yeah. okay. But you know, I, I think I guess we'll see. this this can be an exception. There's yeah, some where it's like there's no there's no there's no chance. But I think with Michael Keaton and with Beetlejuice in particular, even though I haven't seen it, I know about it. But uh, I, I think mm -hmm. it can be the exception. I hope it does because I like Michael Keaton too. Yeah, me too. Here's the thing though. Um, Tim Burton is awful. <laughs> oh, he, here we oh, go. Come on. He he, he like, I like, like he, he has like a handful of good movies, but like he's a great visualist, but he's a terrible storyteller. So who knows? It's always a mixed bag with him. Yeah, but you have terrible taste in movies too, Matthew. So I you, do you, not. No, sir. you most certainly do. No. Yes. Oh God. I, 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 I think I think Huff will back me up. He's the taste. worst. Got excellent taste in women, though. Mm. Let me tell you. He, he, does. <laughs> he does. Don't listen to Matthew. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm kind of mixed on on Tim Burton. I I don't like all of his movies, but I do think he has some gems out there. Which I mean, you can't hit it out of the park every single time, but I do. I do think there's potential for this to be really good. And like you said, I think there's like a there's a new a new merge of of movies and TV shows coming out that are actually being respectful. Like, look at Picard season three. Like nobody thought they'd be able to redeem Picard. But you go watch Picard season three, and you're like, "Dang, this is fun." You know, and I feel like that's yeah. that's it might be creeping into the mainstream is, now. Is Tim Burton making the new Beetlejuice? Is that what yeah, we're saying? I believe so. So, so yeah. like, I have every bit of faith that this movie can be good. Can be good. Can be good. That's yeah. how I'm going to paraphrase. It can be good. Yeah. And um, I'm, that's just where I'm going to go with it. And I, I, I'm at this point. 
I kind of want to see it. I want it is a uh, the girl. What's her name? Winona Ryder. Winona Ryder. Is she is she in it? Girl. And uh, <laughs> the girl. The girl. Winona Ryder. Uh, I think uh, Wednesday's yeah. been cast. Uh, Jenna Ortega. Jenna yeah. Ortega. She's like the shit right now, mm -hmm. and you know it's like she's, I'm I'm okay with Tim these Burton's actors. Darling. I'm okay oh, with for this. sure. Well, he worked with her on on Wednesday, Wednesday. and, and you know, he's like, oh my god, you're amazing. You're just like, he's. It's exactly what it's like. His dream girl. Yeah. I mean. Like, I kind of even want to see Alec Baldwin back in it, and I can't stand it. He, he's not going to be in it. But it would be but, cool if he was. Um, spoiler alert: the first Beetlejuice was actually that good. It was good, fuck man. Oh, oh fuck yourself. man! He, Shots fired. Jesus! I want to. I want to bring up a chat real quick because I love this. Uh, the Salty Nerd shirt in Sega letters is fire. Is. That's a good one. It is for sale on SaltyNerdStore.com, <laughs> right below Mr. Cage's right there and me. Salty I, I love it when our, I love it when our people in the chat like give us segues to sell our stuff. Oh yeah, that's, that's a great. really it's good, good ad really placement. Good. Thank you guys yeah, yeah. so much. I think we need all new shirts though, because we, we wear them so much that they're getting beat up. Yeah, yeah I need to. Get, I need to order a bunch of new ones. Yeah. Um, I need and, a hoodie. Uh, we, I think we have a, a promo code for like ten percent off. Is salty in the checkout counter? Yep. I believe that's still active. I think saltynewstore dot should probably check on that. Is that code, code work on hoodies? Yeah, salty. and if you guys want to show off <laughs> the fact that you're SJWs, salty justice warriors, uh -huh. you can get our SJW shirt uh, shirt on uh, the store and. Uh, Show your uh, show your allegiance. Let's to hashtag the get Army. SJW in the chat. Let's see it. Give us some SJW. Hashtag SJW. We need to get a gift for that or a little an emoji. One nine nine. What's up, guys? Uh -oh. One nine nine. There we go. Oh <laughs> my god. Whoa. W G. My God, man. <sighs> my heart pumps a little. Oh harder. no. <laughs> Hi, gang. He's talking about Madge. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Here's a donation for some sandwiches from the corner subway. <laughs> Okay, if you, you want to know, leave Madge alone. If you guys want to know what the inside joke is, uh, first of all, WG, my man, you're incredibly generous. I, I was, yeah, he's always stocking our fridge. He I is was getting us lunch. So happy to meet you in person here at the studio. You're welcome back anytime. Um, so we have a video in our members only area, which you can find uh, by joining up. Vader had a run in with the uh, manager of the subway. We it was such an incredible. Story. He went off in a huff. We had so fun. <laughs> so we're a huff. <laughs> this old smoking lady. Yeah, your friend came over the other day. <laughs> he was real upset with me. <laughs> he left in a huff. <laughs> did not leave in a huff. That's so funny. Also, she wasn't smoking while she was making sandwiches. He's still she mad about well. it. I know. I know. It's so you know what's funny. hilarious though is that he was adamant. I did not yeah. leave there in a huff. No. And then we went to lunch the same day, and he left in a huff <laughs> that day. He's, and we were, we were like, he's, a, he's in a huff right now. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Listen, all I wanted was some cups. There it is. I wanted some fucking cups. We got the huff. Sean had charged me $35 for fucking 12 waxy cups. Just, it was ridiculous. Cup, you, can't, you can't just buy the cups. <laughs> It's like, I don't want shit in the cups. I just want the cups. I don't want no ice. I don't want none of your thousand percent marked up soda. I just want the, the cups. I'll, I'll give you $5 for 12 cups. Oh, God. Uh, Mark, have you ever gone off in a huff? Well, oh, yeah, yeah his last name is, yeah, right. man. Yeah. You, you must go off in a huff all the time. That's what he's known for. Oh, he's no, muted. you're muted. He muted. Oh, yeah, he's muted. Hey, buddy, you gotta unmute your Hold, mic. On. Hold on, I'm unmuting. What is this go. computer stuff? Am I unmuted? Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're, you're good. good. Fine. You're good. Yeah, I was really irritated yesterday, though. I don't get huffy real, uh, real regular. But, okay, there's this machine, the anesthesia machine. And listen, I know my strengths and weaknesses. And I need a functional anesthesia machine to do my job. And last week, there was a machine that got checked out, and there was a little foreign body in the bells, which is super weird, just trust me. And the anesthesia tech comes and fixes it, and then she says it's fine, and then the next case, I have to ambu bag this patient because the machine stops working because the bell is just quivering. And I said, you got it, I'm canceling the case, which I did, everyone was fine with it. Woke the lady up, the machine got taken out and then taken back in, it's supposed to be a new machine. And then yesterday, the same thing happened, and apparently it was the same machine, and the GE person, if you're watching this right now, you did not. <laughs> fix that machine at all and it's a patient safety issue that's scary I feel like you're you... telling us how the sausage is made yeah i don't know if i want to know all this, this the point is, man i don't want to know how the drugs work i just want them to work oh fun <laughs> fun fact speaking of that do you know how the drugs work the no. volatile what? anesthetic gases i'll give you one fact and then something that will okay. disturb you so all the gas oh, that we I give you, except, that. yes, you do. You're going to know, and you're going to deal with it. You're gonna I'm so excited right now. So, uh, Alex is like, 
I'm just gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> no, you really don't want to. You want drugs. You want an anesthesiologist. I promise. Um, the we have we have several different kinds of gas on the machine that make you go to sleep. One of them is nitrous oxide, and that is mm -hmm. that's the first anesthetic that was ever discovered. And it was a party drug for 50 years. Mm -hmm. We still, still use is. it today. I'm no comment. I don't want to know. Um, but the other gases are all speaking of fast and furious. Yeah, get the nitrous. There, yeah. there you go. It's a different kind. That's a different. Maybe maybe it's not actually. <laughs> I don't think it is. But please continue. Okay, so the other ones are called like sevoflurane, desflurane. There's one called isoflurane. There's a lot of fluorines. They number one. Those are the those are gases that we use to keep almost everyone asleep. Like it's used literally millions of times a day around the world. Uh, first fact, they were developed uh, from chemistry that was developed from the Manhattan Project when we made an atom bomb. So all the gases that you breathe during anesthesia, unless you're breathing nitrous, which usually it's, it's rare, uh, that was chemistry that was developed to uh, make a nuke. So nice. that's fun. That's kind of cool. Interesting. It's pretty cool. cool. Here's the other cool thing. Nobody has any idea how they work. Sweet. Literally. It's because we're all in the matrix. I keep telling you guys, none of this is real. <laughs> But, uh, we got a comment in the chat from my lovely wife. She wants to know if anybody's ever woken up on that. You. Was going to be my question. Was it going to be? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, all of them. That's how I make my money. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that was a doctor answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's a doctor answer. Um, okay. No, no, no. That's it. Oh, the, there are times. Okay, there are people who will say, "I woke up during anesthesia, and it'll be a procedure like a colonoscopy or something where I'm just given a drug called propofol, which is Michael Jackson. Propofol is Michael Jackson. Fentanyl is Prince." Mm. Uh, Versed is what Bill Cosby, not a, the exact drug, but the, that was Bill Cosby, how wow. he got all his dates. I like to put all my drugs in the context of famous people. I don't really hey. like how you said that, but please <laughs> continue. But the no, funny no, part no, is, no. is we all know exactly what you're talking uh, yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. That, I mean, See? that's a very good reference. <laughs> it's a great reference. The, yeah. It irritates me though, because Michael Jackson should be alive mm. and have put like five yeah. albums and gone on two tours. Don't get agree. your cardiologist if you need to get propofol to help you sleep. Ask an anesthesiologist. Don't ask a cardiologist. You will die. Okay. Well, we have you now. Man. Take, well, so, yeah. Call me, guys. I will. For real. Um, but That's, don't. that I'm, was I'm my next question. Was uh, if I do have surgery, am I allowed to choose my anesthesiologist? Can I call you and be like, I want this guy to show up here? <laughs> like, bring oh, this dude. Oh, that's. Could you? Yeah, probably. But then, can it's I contract it out? hospital privileges but if you said absolutely 100 percent fly this guy out i guess probably they would they probably but, but there's privileges. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but yeah we could do it much. your uh, cost is going to go up <laughs> um, that's probably right though anyway so have they woken up no not from a real general anesthetic okay that, that well, can happen extraordinarily rare and then they'll you know make a it's rare enough and and traumatic enough that they you know they will make a film starring hayden christensen about it hmm which they did. He is the greatest actor known to man ever time of ever. Hayden what, Christensen? No, no, I'm thinking about Christian Bale. Never yeah. mind. No, no. Anakin yeah, Skywalker. That's different. Yeah, yeah. Hayden Christensen. Oh, Hayden Christensen Christian Bale is, are not the same. Yeah. He's pretty cool. But he's you know, cool. he's not no he's no Christian Bale. Remember, remember when he was in that movie? <laughs> that's cool. The Star right. Wars movie? The Tito's is officially kicked in. Good. Oh, good for awesome. you, man. Welcome to the party, man. Good for you. <laughs> uh, when do we bust out the night? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. You guys were texting the other day and you were like, hey, do we have any Tito's at the studio? And I was about uh -huh. to drive past the liquor store yeah. and I was like, oh, I'll stop and get some. So I stopped and got it. <laughs> I got home and that's for the studio. So mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't open it. I bought the Tito's. I put it to the side and then I went into my liquor cabinet and I had enough gin for one drink. And I was like, God damn it. <laughs> it was right there. Oh, you could have grabbed gin. that gin that we bought in the yeah, plastic that bottle. That shitty gin? I'm yeah. probably going to take that home. <laughs> <laughs> Go right ahead and do that. Yeah. Uh, what's our next topic of discussion here? I think we have a Daisy Egypt? Ridley. Yeah, we do. A what? Daisy Ridley story to talk about. Why are we That's talking about Daisy Ridley? Our girl, Daisy Ridley. We just talked about Hayden Christensen. That's a great, great, oh, great segue. segue. Daisy yeah, Ridley, so pretty. Star she does in... not deserve to hate. She's so pretty. We got it. She is pretty. She's the star pretty. in High Wire action. Well, hold theater. on. So, Kate. She looks British. Is she British? Yes, she is. He's very British. Kate, you have a very astute um, description of what this movie is. Yes. Can you please explain what this dialogue is? All right, so is? the official description of this movie is the timely action thriller set in present-day London 
We'll see radical activists take over an energy company's annual gala at the Shard, the tallest skyscraper in Western Europe, seizing 300 hostages in order to expose the corruption of their hosts. Their just cause is hijacked by a zealous extremist within their ranks who is ready to murder everyone in the building to send his anarchic message to the world. It falls to an ex-soldier turned window cleaner, <laughs> Joey Locke, oh, no! suspended oh, 90, 90 stories up on the outside of the building to save those trapped inside and take down the killers whilst also finding a way to bring the corrupt energy moguls to justice. Now I've got a gun. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Wait a second. Is this a Bruce Willis movie? No, it's Daisy Ridley. Yes, she plays Joey Locke. Dude. I love Wait, Joey, Joey Locke. Yeah, that's the character's name that she plays. Joey Listen, Locke. I think uh, I, a I, former I, soldier, I, now a window cleaner. Okay, Listen, so. I think I just died a little bit. Here's inside. the thing. You cannot criticize her for knowing how to do all these military moves because she's ex-military. So she's not. Well, that's more set up. Than, that's more than she got in freaking Star Wars. Star I Wars. love that she's a window cleaner. Yeah, great. Whatever. Chick Wick. It's a, it's a, it's a Chick McLean movie. Chick McLean? <laughs> sure. McCain. What is it? McCain? McLean. Is there an yeah, L? Yeah, it's Jane McLean. Jane McLean. It's Jane McLean. McLean. Jane McLean movie. I like it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to watch just, it. Just Give it a try. You just invented a new genre of movies. <laughs> Jane McLean. <laughs> Jane McLean <laughs> Instead of Chick Wick, it's Jane McLean. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So, Mr. Huff, we I have, have a special place in my heart for window cleaners because I used to work in a high rise. And you used to like wave at the window cleaners? Well, like every once in a while, you'd hear them coming first uh -huh. and it would scare the shit out of you. Why? And you'd, because you'd just hear their giant Wait, dude. scraper thingies go, thunk. For like a couple of floors up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you go press your tits against the window? No. When they were cleaning the No. <laughs> Never. That would be awesome. I was at work. <laughs> so like, when I used to work in the spa. What kind of question is that? I don't know. How'd you even come up? I told have you. Have you? Is, <laughs> have in. you ever put your tits against the well, no. I would. He probably has. I, I would. If he they probably to has. <laughs> when I used to work in the spa, yeah. like, um, you would you would hear them coming first, but you'd be trying to like make a really tranquil environment, but you'd hear like the thunk, thunk. yeah, coming up, <laughs> and then like they'd just be in the window while you're like massaging someone, and you're like, so I your can I can just see you know Jude is like this person. She's probably like trying to fuck with somebody, knowing that they can't do anything you know about it. That's super dangerous right? though, because like, they're really oh, high up. And that's they're... how you get fired. Well, they would they yeah. wouldn't tell on you. I do have a funny story though about window cleaners. Not window cleaners, but the windows in a lot of the high rises. A lot of people on the inside of those windows <laughs> think that they're not see through. Mm -hmm. Oh no, they totally are. They are entirely see through. Yeah. And in the spa that I worked, we had floor to ceiling windows, and people would just like fully naked, just hang out like with with all their yeah, shit out, yeah. and they and they would just be like looking, and they'd be like, "Oh, I wonder what they're pointing at." So here's, and it would be I, you. It funny, would be you, dude. Funny, funny story. I, let me do Go ahead, v. I, I got a little insider info if you want to see some really weird shit. <laughs> um, the Cosmopolitan. Yeah. Yeah. Is all balconies 100, on the yeah. Bellagio side. Mm -hmm. Right. I used to work there. I know these things. If you go to the Bellagio. <laughs> I love that you're allowed to tell if, stories if, now if, that if, you weren't allowed to tell if, last year. If you year. go to the Bellagio and you go to the parking structure, you can drive up to the top of the parking structure and you have a full view of yeah. every balcony at the, at the Cosmopolitan. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you. Negative. Guarantee you. If you're like a voyeur. If you're like into like some weird shit, you can like look, look up on those balconies yeah. with your binocs or whatever, you know, you might have happen to have in your car. Yeah. You know, um, you're going to see some weird stuff. Just take your phone and <laughs> go like, go like this a and couple of times. Zoom on those balconies. Because people, people do weird shit on balconies in Las Vegas. I'm just, just, you know. Everybody yeah. wants the photo. It off. is really Listen, funny. There's, there's you, a thing on like Instagram yeah. and stuff. If you're in Vegas, you get a high rise hotel room. Uh -huh. You stand out on the balcony naked and somebody takes a picture of you <laughs> overlooking the city. Happens it's all the time. Crazy. It's a thing. It yeah. This probably has its own hashtag. Yeah. But it is funny. And like being a, being people who live here, we're just like, yeah, we, we live in Las Vegas. And then people who come here and they're like, fucking Vegas! Yeah. Yeah. And we're like, like and they're like, we have to have an experience. <laughs> and like those of us who live here are like, Please don't have an experience. <laughs> Just have your nice vacation and go home. I had a buddy stayed at the Aria and he did the same thing. He's like, he's, he was like, oh man, I was freaking walking around naked in my hotel room. <laughs> he's like, nobody could see what I'm doing. And I was like, oh. texted him. I'm like, so I, I went to go see him. I went to meet him at a bar uh, and I texted, I took a picture of the, of the Aria from the outside and you could see in all the windows because yeah. it was nighttime yeah. and the inside lights were on. And I was like, Hey bro, just say no. Everybody saw you. <laughs> he's like, Oh my God. <laughs> 
Same where, thing. They all assume that there's like some kind of a veneer or something. Where I used not. to work, uh, the Vidara, um, not the Vidara, the Veer, Veer mm. Towers was right across the street. I used to work at the Veer. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And those are residential. So those mm-hmm. are people who actually just live there full time. Yeah. And so where I worked, you could see directly into people's homes mm-hmm. and people never shut their curtains. And you could just see people like fucking <laughs> cooking yeah, dinner, so what this movie, walking naked to get their clothes out of the dryer. What this diehard Daisy really, <laughs> really don't care. needs is just a whole bunch of weirdos in the windows as, she, as she's going up the floor, just looking at each level. 9,000%. They should make a series out of it. Yeah. And each season is one person's window. Yeah. I'm yeah. just I'm getting like this series in my mind <laughs> of just the window cleaner. Yeah, is the main. It is just stories of the window cleaner yeah. and the stuff that he sees. It's like it's like that Hitchcock it. movie. What was it? The rear, rear window. Rear window. Yeah. yeah, this movie is called The Cleaner. Oh, I love and it. It's, it's, I'm so ready for this movie. <laughs> it's being directed by Martin Campbell, who brought us Goldeneye and uh, the Green Lantern movie. Goldeneye. Mm-hmm. Which Green Lantern movie? The Green Lantern movie. Is With there Ryan only Reynolds. There's only the one. Ryan Reynolds one is the only Green Lantern yeah. movie? Okay. Yeah. They retired Ooh. it. <laughs> Ooh. It was so bad they never made another one. Ooh. <laughs> it's so bad we all think there are more options. <laughs> <laughs> Who's what's the what's the studio behind it? Is it date is it uh, Disney? No, I think it's being like independently. You're muted, guys. Okay. Thank you. That is so weird. Why oh. is that? Huff's our moderator. You now. were saying yeah. genuinely. <laughs> genuinely. Genuinely. Okay. So I was saying, genuinely, for um, for Daisy Ridley's sake, I hope she hope pulls an Adam Driver and gets a bunch of other roles outside of the Disney umbrella, so that she can kind of like get away from that. Well, she's kind of like signed the dotted line now. She's for, making. She's doing she's one more. Doing movie. One. Well, yeah. we'll see about that. You think if, it, if it actually gets made, yeah, get we'll, we'll we'll see. I, I mean, judging by the track record so far, uh, yes. Also, it should because <laughs> I, I, it's terrible and I hate it. We need, uh, we need and to I like the fandom again. Listen, <laughs> oh my the fandom minutes is split. We need something to bring us all back together. Look, like the like just the the way Kathleen Kennedy described that mm-hmm. movie. She's like, it's fifteen years later, and the Jedi are in chaos. And I'm like, so Ray's really bad at what, her job then. What what Jedi? There are yeah, many, yeah. and she there's no to... means to make more. She has a bunch of books she can't read. Like <laughs> she, she, she's had like one day of Jedi training. She's, yeah, the whole it's... thing is preposterous. I hate it so much. It makes me so mad. Yeah. Well, yeah. she's gonna uh, she's gonna hang out with a bunch of Force ghosts, and they're gonna retroactively train sure. her, and they're all gonna be misogynist. They're gonna auto erotic asphyxiate each other. <laughs> <laughs> Qui Gon Jinn, dude. If they get Qui Gon Jinn to come back, that'd be kind of cool, though. No, they had no. Ghost Qui Gon Jinn and, and Kenobi. No. No. They don't. They don't need to do any what? of that stuff in that terrible Kenobi show. I only watched it once. I kind of blocked it out. Yeah, it was. They, it was. Qui Gon showed terrible. up. Qui Gon showed up with a bad wig. And he was like, oh, "It took you so long." It was uh, funny. Geez, so comical. You guys think this could be the start of a new action franchise? No, it's. It, listen, man. It's we, a one-off. We make fun of the chick wick. I, I hope so. These these chick action movies are rarely good. What we, we found one good one was Kate. Was on Netflix. Kate was really good. Kate was really good, but mm-hmm. I don't. That's not. That's in the exception. That's not the rule. I like that one where they were like all the uh, immortal warriors. That was you. You're alone on that hill, buddy. Wait, what is <laughs> that? That was Charlie's Theron. Yeah. yeah. What was Netflix that called? Film. Guard something. Guard. I don't know. It was a little woke. The guard. It was kind of yeah. The, oh, was it the the guard? I think so. No. 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 A little bit more involved. We have the power of the internet in front of us. Um, but no, wait. Daisy Ridley, though, I don't, I don't have any issue with Daisy They, they can't all be gunpowder milkshake. God, I'm Fuck off. such terrible. <sighs> such terrible nonsense. If they make a second one of those, I will leave the planet. They're not. <laughs> You're not. The old guard. That's the old guard. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. I mean, let me be are we like? I like the concept of that. The concept, sure. I did but not like the the, the, the the execution was a little weird. Yeah. But I do like the whole concept of that, that movie. Yeah, I mean, it's it was kind of basically new. Highlander, wasn't it? Kinda, yeah, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Kinda but there wasn't only one. There was like seven. <laughs> there could they, be they are, only one. Making, <laughs> there, there, is a, there is a number two coming in. Uh, Who does number two work for, yeah. though? Yeah, yeah. Who does number two work for? Thank you. Thank you for um, hearing me. I feel seen. Yeah, speaking of number two, is uh, extraction two, man. Oh god. Yeah. Are we changing I subjects? Would, yeah, sure. Okay. Do we have a do we have a thing for we, we extraction? Don't. We don't. Okay. No. It just came out came out today. I think uh, Chris Hemsworth. This, the, Can the we watch the trailer? Are we excited for it? No, I'm so excited. Okay. For it. If okay. we watch the trailer, we'll get 
Mm-hmm. Will we? You, I, the, yeah. the YouTube ghosts will come down. And we don't, don't need know. to get. We don't need to get every Tuesday stream ding. Everybody okay. else does it. Why Let's do we? a watch party trailer reaction immediately after this. Lame. Anyway, the Extraction Two looks freaking dope. Does, does it? So good. I haven't seen the trailer. Yet. Oh, it's it so cool. Good. Everything we love about the first one. It's like it's in this one, and it's like cooler, slightly cooler. <laughs> It's like how can I we hope take how can we take the one cooler. long yeah <laughs> how can we take the one long camera shot and make it more extreme than the previous movie? We add trains and helicopters and dude and, and the, the one shot with them yeah. they come on the helicopter. This is in the trailer. They, I don't know they how get they in the do helicopter. This, they land it cool. on top of a moving train. Yep. The camera gets out of the helicopter, turns around, all the dudes get out Fight of the helicopter. Scene. Then they zip line into Tunnel. the train, and then the camera goes into the train. Oh, so is this Fast and the Furious ten? No, it's no. part one. Way better. Way better. Yeah, the the one shot in the original extraction was amazing. Yeah, it was. And this one uh, kind of puts it to the test. Uh, in, in fact, uh, in the first teaser for it, when it's just like one long fight scene of Chris Hemsworth, like he's on fire, mm-hmm. he's in like oh, prison yeah, riot, yeah. And then at the end, he has a Gatling gun that he's taking down. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is, Wait, this, hold on, did he die at the end of the first movie? No, no, he he, 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 he got he got really chat. messed up. He got really messed. In up. the chat, they're saying he's dead. He's not dead. Are right. we gonna have like a recuperation? Yes. Like Rocky yes. scene. That's so in the, the that's in this there, trailer. Is there a montage? Yep. The, but, oh, there's a montage. There's a montage in the trailer. They need to bring montages back, dude. There's a okay. Listen, if you want to know how much like Rocky Four like, it is, Survivor playing the, the, the he soundtrack. is literally doing a workout montage in the snow, just like Rocky. Awesome. And that's in the I'm, trailer. I'm that's I'm in the trailer so for this movie. The I was music like, yes. gonna be awesome. Yes, please okay. give me more. We're give, muted again. Muted again. What? What the no, fuck is going on? No, you're not muted. How does this keep happening? I don't know. People can hear us. Okay. okay. I don't know. I'm, I'm Nadia, thinking, I'm gonna take I will your, not be silenced. If you give me a false alarm like that again, <laughs> I'm going to take your wrench. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to snatch that in and out out of your hand. Where is our in and out? Animal style double double cheeseburger. Yeah. Uh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Amazon, animal style? What's yeah, animal dude. style? <laughs> oh, you're I don't know angel. what that is. Angel. He, he probably doesn't have in and out. You're not from I the West do, Coast, are you? The heck I do. We uh, have Whataburger, but sauce, we have sauce, pickles, extra lettuce. I don't, I don't know. There's it's just the lettuce. sauce. Yeah. You really want to go ham? Get the T Rex. What? It's like it's like it's, like it's T-Rex. like it's like fifteen patties no, no, with cheese. No. And it's like a stack. No. Yeah. Listen, I'm, protein I, style, animal style, out the door. Yeah. And, yeah. And, <laughs> double the, double. Here's the problem with okay, the protein I'll, style I'll and last. animal style together. Oh, it's messy as hell. It slides all over the place. It's messy. What as you hell. have to do is you have to do a protein style with no sauce, and then put the get the sauce pack packets, and they give you like twenty of them. Protein styles, and then you put the sauce right? on. So as you I go. say I'm eating it in the car. <laughs> so they give me the box. Right. So that I have sl- a box underneath me <laughs> when I do go to all eat over it. Your place. Yeah. <laughs> just like, yeah. Ah. Extra napkins. <laughs> throw some pickles in that shit. Yeah. Yeah, but by the time Jude gets to their uh, drive-through, she's uh, she's quite mean. She's a mean drunk. That's not true. How do we feel she, about she, the she, fries? She's very her? abusive the, to drive-through. Okay. I, I get abusive about... when you ask me stupid questions like, "Do you want any sauces?" <laughs> Listen, of course we... I do. <laughs> Don't be an asshole. Are we talking about In and Out now? Yeah, Is that what we're, I we guess pivoted because nobody cares about Disney. No, <laughs> their their fries suck. Wait, yeah, their they fries do. suck. Thank you, but if Thank you. Are great. if if you. Get them extra well done. Okay, they're they're edible. Okay, okay, okay. But you have to get them well done. Yeah, their timer is not long enough for the yeah. fries. They so. the, the little beep goes off way too soon, and they yeah. take them out, and they're all floppy. Eh. And if you get them well done, the little boat comes with a lot of extra crispy things in the okay. bottom, so they're much better to get them well done. You know That's what? When they when you ask for extra crispy, the guy in the back is like, "Screw you!" And he just scoops the crap out. No, of the because of the there's enough people that <laughs> order them well done that they have an extra well done station. Where they just have well done fries. My mind up. <laughs> my wife loves the sloppy fries. Speaking yeah. of animal style, I'm going to tell you something. Oh God, that you're going to be like, that's disgusting. You're an animal. Oh no! Don't tell me about Kadish and you in the bedroom. <laughs> no, I don't want to know these things. <laughs> this has nothing to do with Kadish. In okay. fact, I'm I'm sure this is news to him, and he's going to be appalled as well. Oh no! I want when to hear you, it right now. <laughs> when you go through the In and Out drive through and you're very drunk, and you need fries immediately, you order a shake. And a fry, and you pour the fries into the shake, oh, and yeah. you eat them with a fork. Mm-hmm. I did not want to hear that. I, I think no, I, no. I, <laughs> that's I, a thing. I think I just saw Alex die a little. There's a I, lot. I'm of trying things. not to throw up right now. French There's fries, delicious. Of it's hot and cold. High five. It's salty and sweet. It is absolutely fantastic. It's so weird. 
We I used, knew I wasn't we used to do that. I knew I wasn't we alone. used to do that in high school. Get milkshakes yeah. and French fries and go dip. Yeah. I've heard. Yeah. Wait a second. Y'all you, know what I did the other day? Like mm. two weekends ago. And I did post all this stuff on Twitter. And this is real. I made homemade mayonnaise, except That's I didn't weird. put any salt or any mustard. And then I blended up a banana in it. <gasps> and, and, okay. I called it and I called it bananas. I don't like anything that you said. What, but it was what, real. What, I had to throw it egg, out the other what day. What is it? Egg I and banana? I want to see egg supported, egg white. but I don't support that. Egg whites yeah. and oil. Yeah, it was it was uh, avocado oil, sugar, uh, egg whites. Uh, I used apple cider vinegar, and that's the only yeah. kind of wild card. And then you make yeah. the mayonnaise. But you know that no... feeling you get in the back, like right here before you throw up. Yeah, that's uh-huh. how I feel. Like. Yeah, oh, yeah. We man. we use like a scopolamine patch or Zofran for that. What did you um, put it? Did you on? like it? Uh, no, I had about a bite of it, and it actually was not okay. as terrible as you'd think. And then it sat in my refrigerator until my wife said, you have to throw it out now. And so I did. <laughs> that makes sense. And I was really yeah. sad. But I did also one time make wasabinero sauce, which was much better. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, yeah, that it sounds was good. Amazing. It was like wasabi mayonnaise? Wasabi no, and habanero? It was, it was wasabi and habanero sauce. Nice. Hey, I apparently, I didn't know this about myself, but you guys all tell me that I, like, eat way more hot Oh, uh, when we go to sushi, wasabi. you're insane. You are crazy with the wasabi. I didn't know this. Yeah. I have to like, put a little dab on your thing. That's yeah. not a little dab. It's not? How we much have, do you have, guys put We have on? to order like three times more than a normal human consumes when you go to sushi. Yeah. You that put, you thing put that they put on the it. table is yeah. for the whole table, not just Shit. you. No, that's it's just a dab. It's bro. per person. It's a dab. Okay, we're going to we're gonna commercialize wasabi narrow sauce then, out. <laughs> we're going to get so rich. Let's we're do gonna it. We're going to get stupid rich. Let's do um, it. It's got to be organic, though. Got to be organic. We got to we got to set the trend. As opposed kudos, to what? Kudos Bionic? to Huff for uh, for his creativity. But uh, yeah, I want to get so Huff's much. take on uh, this thing, which is yeah. uh, <laughs> Egypt versus Netflix with over the latest uh, Cleopatra um, quote unquote documentary. I, I'm on I'm, I'm on Egypt's side because Netflix. Is yeah. Ridiculous. So did did they really try to call it a documentary? That's yes. what they call it. Yeah. Oh yes. my. Okay. I thought it was like a, yes. a movie. It's, got, it's no, it's a documentary with dramatic elements talking about oh the queens God. of Egypt and Cleopatra. And, and she I, could I have think, been black. She could have been black. I think if they had just called it like a movie, like you know, if it, if they just made it like a, a straight up fictional <laughs> in narrative, action reimagining. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like <laughs> it wouldn't have caused so much outrage. But everyone in Egypt yeah. is, is like, you're literally changing history for so, you, for your agenda. When when I was watching this thing, I okay. So let me. Maybe, rephrase that when i turned it on in 30 seconds into this thing you watched it i, I turned it on i okay. pushed play yeah and then i heard jada pink and smith said in cleopatra literally said cleopatra i didn't need no man i went you're kidding me i went turned off mm-hmm. said fuck this i ain't watching this shit and that that literally she I, literally narrated she literally beginning. narrated in the first minute of the movie about how they didn't need men to tell them what to do oh when women were in egypt I'm like, no, I'm out. I'm done. This is the dumbest shit ever. And that was it. I'm done. I, I, yeah, I it said was, it, it was, was terrible awful. from conception to I mean, Jada Pinkett Smith. Everything about it was just a train wreck. It irritates me because someone paid to have it made. And like, I, Kadish, I know you know a little bit about this, but like I got tapped by some some friends of ours to to conceive, write, and populate a, a, a sort of a documentary with dramatic elements a lot like this and i had breakfast with jim caviezel and he was on the star and then the investor ne- never gave us any money in the whole project went as hollywood projects often do just kind of want 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 and it kind of fizzled so it irritates me to know and to see terrible garbage like this yeah. get, get actually funded and then a distribution deal with netflix well, uh, oh, what's could... funny is is that this article uh, basically says that Net that Egypt is so incensed at uh, how bad this documentary was is that they're now gearing up to make a ton of documentaries refuting the documentary. Good. Go for it! Yeah, yeah. I'll watch the heck out of them. I'll I watch those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but they're coming out saying like, yeah, our documentary is actually going to be factual. Great. And and Good. it's funny because they quoted this uh, this expert on Cleopatra who you know spent his entire career like lecturing about her and teaching about her and researching about her, and uh, and uh, he just talks about how like you know when he came out against this documentary like everyone started attacking him in the United States uh, because like th- th- they start calling him racist and he's like oh my God. he's like no I'm just telling you how history actually was yeah yeah that's such a shame dude it's such a shame that these people have like brainwashed a, a section of the United States 
population to think that this is accurate <laughs> or if anything yeah. else comes out about it they're like that's not real that's the jada pinkett smith thing i have no love for that woman at all no she's a horrible no. human she, she destroyed Will, man. she is a terrible human being there's like i mean there's videos all over the internet i don't have to tell people that but like of terrible. her just being the most manipulative she's, just, she's a bad human she's terrible i don't know how yeah, she has any good. kind of working relationship with people anymore she's so bad and I, I i'm like know. i don't I, I want her to go the way of amber heard like just Go off and, and poop somewhere Here, in Spain this, and leave everybody alone. But this is for you. What's up? Um, you better keep Jada's name out of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Will Smith, we have an alarm system and like 17 locks in our doors. Yeah, Good yeah, luck. Smith's not getting in here. <laughs> he ain't getting in here to smack me in the face. Keep That's my funny. wife's name Jada out your Smith. motherfucking mouth. <laughs> this okay, is a guys, terrible, I'm being, terrible human being. I'm being called to make buy some burgers. Okay. But, uh, right. can, can I plug one more time? I would Absolutely. love. I'm at it, my friend. The I would yours. love. Go, make them full if, screen. If people went to fundmycomic.com, this is a delightful book that makes everything that Dr. Seuss ever did seem like a stupid idiot baby. Um, <laughs> and it's it's topical and it's delightful and it's a little Calvin and Hobbesy, Bill Watterson. Um, Thank you. And you have lots of choices here. You have you can pick from the Dylan package. That's one book. Can I read these? Go for it. All right, our different reward tiers, guys uh for twenty dollars you can get one book the dylan package uh it's a small package but still immensely satisfying the dylan package comes with a single copy of ma'am i am easily tucked away in a backpack or bookshelf <laughs> for you to discreetly show your friends uh you can bump up one tier and get two books the jeffrey package with two copies of ma'am i am included in the jeffrey package this binary deal gives you double the fun don't leave this pair of books hanging. Grab this package, keep one for yourself, and give one to a friend. Uh, we're getting a little bigger now. Uh, five books is the Leah package. There's no hiding a package this big in a mailbox. Five <laughs> copies of Ma'am I Am. Come in the Leah package. Put it proudly on display so people can't help but notice, like on your coffee table. And the big, the big kahuna. Ten books, the Caitlin package. <laughs> the Caitlin package? <laughs> Intended nice. for schools, libraries, bookstores, organizations, the Caitlin package is impressively huge. With 10 copies of Ma'am I Am included, it's a veritable decathlon champion of literature. Comes with a gold medal Ma'am I Am bookmark. Now that's a real bargain. If I ha if I do say it so is. myself, a real bargain. Um, and our, our mutual friend needs to put up that dadgum video that he did. <laughs> That I know he did because he yeah. a bunch of. Have y'all yeah. seen the video? Yeah, we're we're helping him uh, get it ready for publishing. Okay, uh, I much appreciate that. Thank you yeah. very much. Um, is it funny? I think it is. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> it was pretty funny. That's how I got introduced to the book, and I, I read through the book because uh, with the with the video file came a PDF, and I was like, "Oh, this is hilarious!" It's um, hilarious, right? Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Yep. You have to okay. have a sense of humor to enjoy it, though. Like, if, if you get easily squeamish about this kind of stuff, it's probably not for you. But, like, I laughed the entire way through. Yeah, I and think it's, it's really it, funny. And it's not meant to be like, here's a, a brr, firm stance and I'm taking a hard. But, like, it's just kind of a, honestly, thousand foot view. It's a really stupid, silly, silly topic. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, history yeah. is going to look back at this and be like, <laughs> LOL. This, this whole this era is, of civilization is really stupid. So I actually yeah. resent it. It doesn't matter like what we do. Uh, everything is going to be looked at by future historians as like, yeah, but that was like 2010 to 2030. So yeah, we're we're igno <laughs> we're ignoring all of those. We're gonna, this is going to be the forgotten decades. I, I hope future. my kids look back I at this so. era and be like, oh my god, what was going on with you guys? People were so yeah. dumb, so stupid. <laughs> like, Are you yeah. gonna have an answer? I'm not gonna have an answer. I'm gonna be like, ah. it's like I, why did they have a got, man why did they have a mannequin in the White House? That's what I don't. I got three kids that are all very, very young, and like when they when they grow up and they look back at the time when they were born, I'm going to be like, "You're lucky you were young. You didn't have to deal with all yeah. this nonsense." But who? I mean, I don't know yeah. what's going to happen. In the or future. it'll be the exact opposite of that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly I, I, I will mention. Speaking of mannequin in the White House, the I think I started telling this. The publisher who passed on Ma'am I Am because it was too spicy. He said, <laughs> "Why don't you? What if you did something? Because we want to work with you. What if you did something about how much Joe Biden likes ice cream?" And I thought about it, and in three mm -hmm. days, I, I had sent him a 73 stanza. Um, 
Homeric uh, magnum opus about how much Joe Biden likes ice cream, except he's confused. So he like, he looks Kamala's kebab and she's like, Joe, that's not ice cream. It's meat. Why are you looking at it? And then she, she, she licks, he licks Jill's guacamole and he's like, that's my guacamole. Cause she can't pronounce Spanish words. That's the joke. Um, but then he, he gets into Hunter's room and he, I'm spoiling the book a little bit. He get he he finds Hunter's magical sugar, and he takes a big, <laughs> he takes a big old lick of that, and then everything becomes ice cream. The walls become ice cream. All the people become ice cream. He licks Greta Thunberg in the face. Uh, he, I mean, he that sounds like something that might happen. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I know it's it's magnificent, and I love yeah. it so much, and I really hope they give me that deal because that would, we could talk about that one. It's called oh, Everything oh. Is Ice Cream. Nice. Um, right on. I want to buy some burgers now. Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you, sir, for joining <laughs> us. <laughs> really thank appreciate you so coming on. Me. Yeah. Everyone, uh, the link to uh, Mark's uh, GoFundMe, it's not a GoFundMe, it's a Fund My Comic, uh, is in the description. So if you think that this book sounds interesting and you want to help support Mark, uh, go check it out. Uh, it is a very well illustrated and funny little book. Yeah. Yeah, Danny, that's the that's the wrong link, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Danny. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, thank you so much for joining us today, man. I really appreciate it. It was oh, great no, to finally meet you me. in person. Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll have you back on. We'll have it back yeah, on for sure. That would be a blast. All right. Yeah, Enjoy your cookout. Cool. Yeah. Talk to you all later. <laughs> Bye. All right. Do we have any other topics left? We have <sighs> one topic left. That's for what you and June. It? Lockwood is gone. Lockwood. I'm not surprised. Lockwood, that was a really good show. It man. was really good. It was cute, and nobody talked about it. And there was one season of it, and it's gone. Netflix is well, brutal. Well, you know, we should have talked about it because we are the number one podcast in the United <laughs> States for things. And um, we have maybe we could have saved criticism. We could have yeah. saved it, but we it's too late now. It. We could have saved it. Now. Yeah. That's silly. <laughs> it, was, it was it was a surprisingly good show. It was it was basically kind of like a teenage version of Ghostbusters. Okay. Yeah. Um, but um, it was based on a series of young adult novels. And Joe Cornish, who was the filmmaker behind Attack the Block, was um, behind this one. And it had like a really interesting mythology. It had like really interesting characters. It was a really good show. And Netflix yeah. was actually pretty proud of it. But they were like, yeah, just didn't bring in the numbers. And but the thing is, is like they didn't promote it at all. They didn't yeah. push it at all. Like we had to no. like discover it. Hmm. They didn't. They didn't promote it at all. And yeah, it, it, just you kinda... know, it, was, it was one of those kind of shows where I could watch it. I, I would binge like three episodes, mm. and then I would kind of forget it was there for yeah. like two or three weeks, and then I'd watch another couple episodes. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was. It was an easy watch. It was an easy watch. It was mm -hmm. a cool concept. I like. It was like its own little universe its own little world you, you know and they have their own rules mm -hmm. and everything and, and I, I like that i like yeah. it when they when they have their own thing and it was interesting it was an interesting concept of the show i mean go out there and watch season one because it is a it is a good story mm -hmm. it's 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 good stuff i mean yeah. as, yeah. as many mistakes as netflix has made with like producing garbage yeah. stuff most of the time i do admire the fact that they're willing to take chances right. on things like, oh, this is a small time, you know, not small time, but it's like, it's a popular uh, young adult series book. Right. Let's make a TV show out of it and see how it goes. And like, you know, they give it one or two seasons. If it doesn't get the numbers, they cut it. But like, right. they're taking chances on stuff. Everybody's like, where's the original content? You know, there's so many books well, out there. There's a ton of original out. content on that. You, you know what yeah. I think really killed it for Netflix is that this was not a woke show at all. Like, no, it was not. There was not a single woke thing about it. And mm -hmm. and they were like, oh, one and done. Um, well, when we talked to the guys who made I mean, the it was, Norsemen, and they're like, "We love their show," but Netflix, yeah. Netflix was like, "You're not getting enough downloads," mm -hmm. and they just cut them short. I feel like that's like regardless of whether or not it's woke or not. I feel like Netflix is like, if you don't reach this benchmark, yeah, you're done. They're very yeah. hardcore yeah. about their hard lines yeah. about what they need to I do. I just saw another really good suggestion in the comments from Nadia talk about From. Uh, oh yeah, have you guys watched From? No, no. <gasps> I have not. It's so creepy. I love it so much. It's creepy. It's so creepy. It's like a horror version of Lost. Ooh. Yes. Oh, okay. It's yeah. basically like you're on a road trip and there are these these markers and everybody sees them and experiences them. Markers? And then, yeah. Like, so you're on this road trip and you see a fallen tree. Uh -huh. And then you... And there are these crows. Yeah. There. There's like, there's all these things that happen to every single person. And then once you go through all of the markers, you're trapped in the town. Yeah, you, so, you try to leave and you can't get out. So, so mm. the basic premise of it is that there's this town that uh, is kind of like mystical. 
Mm -hmm. And it's like this rundown Midwestern town. And basically people just from all over the world end up there Mm -hmm. somehow. And when they try to leave, they just like show back up at the town. So they, they like they, they, le- they leave out the road and as they're going out the road, they are coming back in. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. And, and so um, they're trapped in this town. But then like every time the sun goes down, all these monsters come out to like Ooh, eat them. Like but feast? they look like people. What? what? Yes. Yeah, and they're, oh. they're super creepy people because, like, they're just smiling the whole time. Oh, now, yes. I'm, oh, now I'm interested. Yes. Wow. Okay. It's sm- so creepy. That's different. Yeah, yeah. that's different. And, and so, like, basically the people trapped in the town are, number one, trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Mm-hmm. But number two are trying to, like, get out of the town. Uh-huh. And so, like, uh, in every episode, like, they keep showing you, like, all this, like, weird, like, messed up stuff. Um, but at the same time, it, it's like a survival tale as well. Yeah. So, so like, it, it's it's really, really good, actually. Hmm. It's smilers are the worst. I um, don't ever smile, you creepy ass. <laughs> you know what is the absolute Ugh. worst is a creepy child. Oh yeah, that fucking gets me I, every I time. Had, there was a video game, um, Dead Space. I don't remember if it was first or second one, but I was playing Dead Space, and there's a section of the game where you have to go through this old space station, and there's like a kindergarten in it, mm-hmm. and the kids are like possessed by this alien yeah. thing, and the kids start, and you have to start like blowing. Kids away with their gun and stuff. And like, I have like, I can't play this. Game. I gotta go. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I gotta go watch, for me. I gotta go watch that Ancient Aliens episode again, where they talk about the uh, the children who can visit you at your house, Ooh. and you're not supposed to like let them in because they have like, they're like really creepy kids. I forget what yeah. they're called. Oh, they, have, so they, have, they have they have they have a name, and they have like dark eyes <laughs> yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, Hi, can we come in your house? Ooh. Yeah, but and in, it like, in, in yeah, from it's like, interesting because they find these like special talisman that like if they hang them by their door. The monsters can't come inside and get them. So but like, if you even so much as crack a window, they will come in and they will destroy you. Whoa. Like the next day. You don't ever, ever see yeah. the actual attack, but you see like the aftermath the next day. And it's just like they put your insides on the outside. Yeah. That reminds me of a time I went to a uh, motorcycle show in Joshua Tree, California, and I drove through the desert with my truck. I drove to there. And I hung out, took a bunch of photos. Did had you a see great a time. fallen tree and a bunch of ravens? No, but this is weird because like I was on my way back and I had car trouble. My truck broke down, so I had to pull off. That's the how they get of, you? Literally in the middle of the desert, and there just so happened the to worst. be a tiny little alone gas station. And I pushed my truck in the parking nay. lot. Right, <laughs> pushed my truck. I'm like, I'm stuck. I can't get out. I don't are have you any a, cell service. I'm like stuck in the middle of nowhere so i'm like the only option is i have to go into this gas did station did you hear a child's voice in and the I, wilderness I and you were to, like should i go look for those, it those are skinwalkers that's different no, that's don't, appalachian don't that's appalachian that's appalachian i'm from pennsylvania that is real no um, i know uh, so i i went to this gas station i'm like I, my literally cell service is gone i got nothing i have to go inside and ask if i can use a phone i walk in and there's this random german family sitting down eating french fries and like hamburgers at this gas station in the middle of the desert and they're like oh yeah we're just tourists here you know just i don't know how to do a german accent but anyway they were talking <laughs> oh, yeah. to me and I, was, and I was looking around i'm like there's literally me this random german family and one gas station attendant in this whole place and i'm like this is a this is a setup for a horror movie Absolutely. i'm going to die yeah <laughs> so uh so chris has an interesting comment here. i just when, answered it or uh, basically he asked me and jude um are you staying in the town or in the community house? So in, in from in the, the haunted town, there's this big mansion up on the hill where basically the people who have accepted their fate are just going to try to like live their lives out. It's in, a communal in living. Yeah. Uh, they mm-hmm. live there, but the people in the town still have hope that they can escape. And so like they, they each get like their own houses and stuff. Um, I, I'm very adamant that I would be like in the town. I'm in the town. Yeah. And, but Jude's question is always like, what would your job in the town? Be? Yeah. Oh, everybody has a job? Well, I mean, you have to have a society. Help provide. And- yeah. yeah. There, like, there are people who, like, run the um, the local bar. There are people who run the local diner. And uh, the, the, there's, there's a sheriff. There, there's, there's a, a sheriff, deputy. There's a there's priest. A, there's a doctor. Yeah. Oh. So, like, everyone. Who's really just a nurse. I'd be a mechanic. And, and it's, such, it's such a small town. <laughs> well, so, like, it really wouldn't do that much for the community. <laughs> you can't just, go anywhere. I can fix things. <laughs> yeah. But, but the interesting Agreed. thing about the show is that, so, the the first family in the first episode who gets trapped, the husband is like this architect who designs roller coasters and stuff, but he has like a background in electrical engineering and stuff. And he becomes obsessed with finding out where the electricity in the town's coming from. So he starts digging into like his basement, following like all the wires, kind of like what we were doing here at midnight last night. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and Cause they, they always have like chickens, eggs, 
uh, beef, milk. They always have groceries. Hmm. Yeah, and they have electricity, but they they don't have like they can't get a TV signal, they can't get a radio signal or anything like that. But so, like the same song comes on in the diner every day. No one can figure out where it's coming from. Yeah, and so like they they dig down, they find out that the wires that provide electricity are attached to nothing. Yeah. Well, you spoiled it. Thanks, I, man. I was <laughs> watching that. What what uh, streaming service is this on? It's on Prime. No, it it well, it's on MGM Plus. Okay. Which you can subscribe to through Prime, which is what we do. Oh, I gotta get another stream. I'm not service. getting another stream. Well, well oh, it's it, so good. MGM was just bought by Amazon. So oh, maybe okay. maybe it's included. So good. Maybe it's included. But um MGM Plus, which was formerly Epics, actually has a ton of really good original series on it. Yeah. What did you okay. say your job would be? Um I Oh, you said, said you'd be the I'd mayor. Be mayor. Yeah. There's, I'd, I'd there's take no over. mayor. He's like, I'd just be mayor. Uh, okay. Who's gonna vote for you? <laughs> I was like, I'd probably like be the bartender and also cut people's hair. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I guess I would fix things. I guess I don't know. Where, am I, I don't know. That's a, it's sure. a, it's a interesting. I like the you can, I, I, you can mow people's lawns. They're great. <laughs> um, I wasn't interested in the concept until you said that the monsters come at night. Now I'm in. Like, and they look like people. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's cool and creepy and, yeah. and interesting. I, I don't really care about the like, oh, we're all stuck here. Ooh. I'm like, I don't care about that. But now you introduce a new element to it. I might yeah. have to check it out. And there's like a bunch of woo-woo. Like if you walk out into the wilderness. There's like rules that you have to follow. There's rules that you have to follow. <sighs> and sometimes there's like these like, you know, like when you see a tree and it looks like there's an opening in the tree and you like dip your head in. You're like, oh, it's hollow in here. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you you do that and you end up in a place. Hmm. Yeah, the tree teleports, basically. Yeah. That's weird. It's so good. You're going to watch it? It's so good. I don't know. I still got to watch Silo. I got, I got, dude, I got so much stuff uh, I have Silo to watch. is also really good. I know. We, we were really supposed good. to talk about it today, but I didn't have time to watch the We'll do the it show. next week. So we'll have to do it next week. You haven't week. watched any of it? None of it. <gasps> are we, are we going to do... gives me anxiety. Really? We, I gonna, love it. Are we going to do a weekly show about Silo? I get I mean, it's a, it's a chat. Can. If people want us to talk it's about it, we'll talk about it. Yeah. I mean, I'm down. And then tonight we're gonna do a live watch. <laughs> no, a Beetlejuice. You said I, I'm I'm hanging out with my wife tonight. So if you guys want to host the live watch, then feel free. Uh, I, I we gotta we gotta schedule it and give people notice so we can get a yeah. nice watch yeah, party. Like Burglary, like really screwed up our recording. Well, yeah, we're yeah. down. We're down yeah. and out. We're trying we, to recover. We gotta, now. we gotta get caught up. Yeah, we're. I mean, like next week when we come here, we're gonna have to like we're gonna triple record stuff just yeah. to catch up like i, I, I honestly didn't think we'd be able to put on a show today just based off of where we were last night yeah, yeah. I, was, I was sitting there in alex's seat last night watching him as he was underneath the table like wiring everything wiring up. everything and i'm like taking pictures of him making yeah. fun of him and stuff i was like i looked at matt i go we're uh we're not gonna we're in it. trouble for tomorrow huh <laughs> <laughs> and he, he goes good, yep. have a show <laughs> and, and then alex connected the cable and all the tvs and, turned on dude, like, literally it was like, like the chorus we, up, oh, oh, we were, we were sitting like, down there and we're like why isn't this working camera three is camera three this one's hooked up everything's on we got power we've got everything i don't know why it's not working and i unplugged it walked away wow. came back and was like well you know try it one more time <laughs> plugged it in it was like yeah. and, and then right after vader said the you know we're not gonna make it tomorrow he was like oh i guess we can do it tomorrow <laughs> I, was like, I was like yeah I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. if you're wondering how stressful the last couple of weeks have been uh we we went through two bottles of whiskey today <laughs> oh yeah we got to contact shady mile we need another box oh, yeah. yeah hey guys uh have have we set up when we are going to officially thank everyone for uh we'll do that help? we'll do that next week for, we're gonna, yeah, we'll do, a, we're gonna we'll do, do a, a video. an official thank you yes. video. I don't know how to do that besides just be like, thanks. Yeah, That's, well, yeah. I think that we should go through uh, we'll everybody's donations comments. and say people's yeah. names and say There's thank you. Like 120 names on that list. That's yeah, fine. fine. <laughs> what else are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> That's a we'll long do, list. We'll do something. Um, Kanish will be like, we'll send them all hats. Settle down. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little bit insane on Saturdays. It's like, we're going to give away this. We're gonna do a drawing for this, like bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Quit spending all our money. Just say man. thank you. Fuck. Like, Chill, relax. They don't need to get these going and shit. My wife was telling me to say hi to our son, babe. Don't let him watch the show right yeah, now. No, 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 no. Hi, Ray, Ray. Oh, What's up, buddy? Shit. I'm sorry. Ray, Ray. So there you go. Sorry, I said Ray, Ray. Ray, Ray. Several things. He's a baby. His name's Ryan. 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 When he's older, it'll be Riker. Dude, and then when he's even older, I'll call him number one. And the, the Tito's is kicking in, man. Again? Yeah. I was like, oh shit. Did you, <laughs> I, did you just get an accent? I did. The Tito's I, is kicking in. Speaking of accents, I want to I want to end on this because my wife showed me this hilarious Instagram. Um, this like 
right, and right. this is coming from a straight guy. This smoking hot dude who's ripped long blonde hair what? from Norway, right? He's a Norwegian Viking dude. Oh, she dude. sent me that too. And, right? And he's like, it was and, he, hilarious. and he does this like whole sexy look. And then he's like, how are you doing? And, and it's like the most unsexy, and unsexy voice what? ever. And we were joking last night. We were like, wouldn't it be hilarious if they made like a Norwegian outlander show, like super sexy dudes, but then their accents are like just goofy. And it's so funny. And we call it Utlander. <laughs> Utlander. <laughs> and it's like, I love oh, it. oh, Claire, what are you doing over there? Do you want to uh, let me cuddle with you? And, also, and it's just like the most jokey, nonsensical Norwegian oh, outlander. Oh, Sesnick. Yeah. 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 Just, what are you doing, Sesnick? Uh, we have to go and fight the British or something. I don't yeah. know. It's just, it would be so funny. I love that. I uh, guess I'm going to grow some potatoes. Yeah, it's I like, say, we're, 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 we're going to go find Utlander we're, now. <laughs> we're just like in the bullshit phase of this, Yes, right? absolutely. So um, what is this all about? What is what? But uh, Matt said I could win a date with Vader on a giveaway. Wait, when did that happen? So that's, what, that's, what? that's Nadia's husband. He's just being mean. Oh, oh, okay. I'll hang out with you, Chris. Come on, man. That's, that's, that's... <laughs> you guys gonna you guys going to billy go to each other? Mm. <laughs> we, we both got beards. <laughs> Beard, let our beard touch. <laughs> that would be kind of weird. Speaking we do need to. Of, I mean, they're locals. Yeah. We need to hang out with them more often. Yeah. They, Speaking they, of Alex's wife, I made her do a field sobriety test the other day. You did, Before yeah. I would let her drive home. Yeah, yeah. So I just, <laughs> yeah, real quick for the eighty people that are watching. Thank you guys so much for being 80 here. Eighty people. That's a cool. good crowd. That's, that's a nice crowd. That's a good crowd. Like and subscribe. All that stuff. If you're brand new here, uh, this is now the. Uh, we've never. We haven't sat at a table together. A couple in weeks. What, a couple two weeks. weeks. Couple weeks. Yeah. So we're just gonna. We're gonna chill. We're just. We're having fun, man. We're having a good time. This, that's actually a really good crowd for a Tuesday show. It's not bad. It's not it's bad. Not, but you know, Saturdays. Yeah. We're, Listen, man. We're we're like I still hold I still hold the record. I've do got you? the most viewers. Do you? And I've got the most super chats. I don't think you do. Suck it. You got like no. I don't think he has. I do. He doesn't have the most super chats, does he? Yes, I do. No, fuck. Yes, you. I do. No, you do. Just I do too. You let absolutely. Him have it. No, I'm not gonna let him. I have know it. you are, but what am I? Um, I know you are, but what <laughs> anyway, am I? Anyway, anyway, the uh, yeah, you guys went on like a Mother's Day date. Uh, Mother's what day. did you guys do? I don't even know what you did. We <laughs> went and got massages. That's right. And okay. then we, we sat oh. in a salt cave and then we got margaritas. A salt cave? Yeah. That sounds like so much fun. Is that like like when they like hang up steaks to age? <laughs> kind of. That's yeah. what you're doing to your body. So like you, like... <laughs> no, you literally so like... walk into this room and the floor is all just like like Sand? chopped Crops, up. Yeah. You know, salt. When I get a woman, I like my woman to be nice and aged. <laughs> From the salt cave. You hang her up in a nice, salt cave. Get her nice and tender. <laughs> That's my <Yes>. wife hook. <laughs> when you eat that, it's like just like butter on that knife and fork. Yeah. Dude, like, that's weird. She said when Ashley left the salt cave, it looked like she'd done a lot of cocaine. Yeah. Yeah, she had like salt around one nostril. And we were like, okay, are you ready to? Oh, girl, you look like you just did a bunch of coke. Did a bunch of coke. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny. Like, because you walk into this, I'm, I'm assuming this is how it works because this is what you do to meat. Oh, it's what you do to meat. There's like this big ventilation tunnel and got, they're just like pumping salt into the air so I got, it's, just, I got a story. it's everywhere yeah. you i saying? literally watched a guy at work because you guys all know i work in surveillance yeah at an unnamed location here in las vegas correct right? i literally watched a guy chop lines and snort fucking cocaine on the surface of the slot machine this week get it out was so funny he's like how many lines <laughs> Did nobody stop it? It was so good. Do you have to make oh, a call at that oh, point? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. You, it, it, like, the coke see, kills all the germs so on funny. the machine. Sure, it was sure. so funny. I was like, I'm not supposed to talk about work shit on here, okay? And, like, I'm being as vague as I can. But that was, like, one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> like, this guy, you get, 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 with, a, with a freaking <laughs> credit card. He's chopping. Did he have the $100 and, bill and, and, and he everything? Got bill and he rolled yeah, it up. wow. <laughs> it's, Vegas, it baby. Was, it was hilarious. Vegas. I'm like, what is going on right now? It was it was really funny, but that's why you know. I mean, getting, I guess if you're getting kicked out, but. you're taking lines off of a freaking slot machine. You're not really worried about drugs machine. or not uh, uh, germs all, or anything. He's like, what? I thought this was Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> it's all class. It's, all, it's a really good chopping surface. Sure, yeah, it probably it's has really a mirror. Great. It's a mirrored surface. Oh yeah, isn't it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. It's, it was great. It was just like I'm like, what if there's is this anything you ever want to watch yourself do, it's coke. Oh man, I love this. I look so time. fucking cool. <laughs> it's like the drugs, the hookers, the blow, oh the strippers. So, this I guess you can't say. Town, man. I guess you can't say. But I'm assuming you have to call the authorities at that point and be like, "Hey." Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. I mean, I think most of the properties have their own 
like security <laughs> yeah. that deal with yeah. illegal shit. Wow. It was just crazy. That's incredible. Just watching him chop his line. Vegas, baby. Just and they're like, you know, make it nice and neat and straight. And I don't get it. Good for him. I don't go to the, I don't oh go to the strip, God. man. I don't go to the strip. Any of you guys at all interested in the F1 thing that's happening? Not at all. Not, Not at really. All. Not at all. But to I me, it's just a traffic headache. Dude, yep. if I, I got I to navigate oh, all that shit. To work to yeah. that. They've got to be shutting yeah. down. They're shutting down the strip, right? Oh, yeah. That's yeah, part of the racetrack. Well, that's part of the racetrack. Yeah, yeah but yeah, yeah. they're just going to shut it down and be like, okay, fine, yeah. good luck. Do you guys want to <laughs> explain what you're talking about? Okay, so, so in Vegas, yeah. Vegas is now hosting the F1 races. Yeah. Formula, Formula One. Formula One. For we, the we foreseeable have, we, future, I suppose. We have, a, we have like a 10 or 12 year long 10 or 12 wow. year contract so they have to resurface mm -hmm. the portion of the strip which is from like it's like eight block or no it's like, yeah, that's like, a long way like flamingo which casino to which to, casino from flamingo to Harmon, i think that's not is, that long it's, yeah it's long between, between but they but but the Cosmo race and no it's, it's from <laughs> from like the wind down to Cosmo. Okay. But but, okay. but anyway, the, the the Formula One, these these cars are they're million dollar cars and, and 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 they have a very specific um thing that they the, the pavement, the the asphalt that they drive on yeah, has, has to be, be very specific. And it's sticky. A, it's it, it's a very yeah. So they're gonna resurface so the they're, entire strip. They are currently resurfacing the entire strip wow. of the portions that are the racetrack. And I don't know if you guys, if anybody knows Vegas at all, if you close down a single lane oh God. of the Las Vegas Boulevard, nightmare. it's a nightmare. Yeah. And they're closing down entire sides. Yeah, yeah ba basically, it's, crazy. It, it's like they're turning it into a real life uh, video game racetrack. Yeah. Where, where basically, like, you know, I've played video games where you race through Las Vegas before. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're actually making it like they'll be, yeah. they'll be driving through casinos. They'll be driving up. Well, they're not strip. doing through casinos. What? But, Whoa. but no, the racetrack is. Is the, the Boulevard, Harmon, Koval, and then it goes back into, and it's it's just all around the casinos. It's wild. It's does a it really go, cool racetrack. Does, does it go? But they have to resurface the entire area of the racetrack. Itself. Does it cross the fifteen? No. Okay, so it stays on this side no, of the no, highway then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but it's 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 really I'm, insane, dude. And I'm it's just super... a nightmare for track, and they have to resurface it actually twice. They put down the first layer, which they're doing now. Yeah. And then, like six right weeks before. before the race, they put again. another layer on to. Finish and it, it's happening in November. Yes, Sep November. September. I think I'm, I can't. Yeah, afford, I, 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 I can't afford it's, to go. It's November because it's yeah. literally the week after our wedding. I yeah. can't afford and to go. That's but right. And but and I want to. Las Vegas is weird right now. It's becoming a huge sports town. Yeah, I love it. So love we're getting it. stadiums and arenas, it's a huge and racetracks boost, built and stuff. Our, it's nuts. Our economy is insane. Yeah. Las Vegas is kind of nuts right now. It's, yeah. it's really fun. It's growing. It's, it's doing. Also, it's doing different things. Like before, yeah. it was like a touristy town. Now it's like a no. It's still a touristy town. I, I know it's still touristy, but it's 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 turning but, into something but different. But the, the gambling is a just, different kind of tourist. Yeah, the, the, the gambling, the casinos, the gambling. There, everybody still stays at the casinos. Right. But the gambling, the casino part of it, is just one little part of the experience oh, now. I heard it's not, it's not the only reason to come to town now. I heard a rumor that a room at the Bellagio during the F one race is like ten thousand. Yeah, that's, that's a accurate. Night. That's yeah. accurate. I'll get it. Can I, I wonder. Yeah, these, 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 this, the F1 is not for your normal person. These are for rich. No, I can't. I can't. Economy. I want to go. I would love to go. God, it'd be so freaking cool. They're going to put grandstands over the top of the Bellagio fountain. Should we watch it here? No. Can we I, watch I it? I really live? don't have much interest in it. No. No. Come on, dude. Race cars? I'm not into race cars. You it's, can. I'd love to watch yeah. it here. I'd do a watch party for sure. By, but, is it pay per view? I'm assuming. I don't know. I don't know. You said it's in November? Yeah. It's gonna it's gonna be crazy. What I wonder what the date is. I'm gonna just and then we're getting and then and we're getting the baseball stadium. Second the week. A's are coming to town in a couple of years. Yeah, we got a new baseball. They're gonna, team. They're, gonna, they're going to. Uh, we just keep going, stealing everything. From yeah, Oakland. from Oakland. Yeah. Oh, Oakland's they're, dead. They're, they're, I think the last thing I heard was is that they're imploding the Tropicana and they're gonna build a stadium there. Correct. Like a thirty-five thousand seat stadium on Tropicana and the Boulevard. Get out. And Another gonna, stadium. And, yeah, yeah, and they're gonna rebuild the Tropicana back behind it. No parking. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a fucking wow. nightmare, man. That's insane. Yeah, and the Tropicana is right at the start of the Listen, strip. Listen, if we're not full time doing this by the time that starts, you're out. I'm leaving. Yeah. I'm moving yeah. out of here because I don't want to ever have to go down. Yeah. Who thought it was a good idea to build a stadium right there on the No, street? it's a great idea because you have all your sports stuff right there in one spot, right yeah. in the middle of all the hotel rooms. That's it's it's a great idea. But for us locals sucks. that work there, it mm. sucks because you have to travel there and travel back out. 
And it's just, it's, it's not a lot of fun, man. Yeah. It's just, it's no fun. Hmm. I mean, it's great for the economy. Don't get me wrong. These, I mean, we are a sports town. <laughs> it's now. great for the economy, but none of us can afford, afford but, to go to the, any of these events. Yeah. But it's not Correct. for us. Right. It's, it's not like, for us. Yeah. yeah, it's not for us. It's for freaking people flying in from yeah. Dubai or something. Yep. That's exactly what it it's is. It's absurd. Every like, time Garth Brooks performed here, I would get stuck in a parking lot dude, for like an hour and a half. Listen, like Jack Black and Tenacious D just came to town a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, I really wanted to go. I'm like, oh, I love Jack Black. I'd love mm -hmm. to go see his show. It was $500 a ticket. Yeah, that's yeah. insane. For a concert ticket for an hour and a half show. Was Lizzo there? No, I don't know. It was just <laughs> it was it was Tenacious girlfriend. D and a couple of cover, yeah, not cover bands. I'd love like to go see Tenacious D. I would too. Have, have you seen those guys on TikTok where like the lead singers just like Jack Black? Yes. Yeah, I have. I love his stuff. Yeah, his He's hilarious. hilarious. Are you back on TikTok? No, I watch his stuff through Instagram. We don't okay. do Chinese bullshit here. Yeah, dude. I really that that whole thing where like they read the <laughs> the disclosure agreement. I was like, Jesus it's Christ, a little bit it's much. a little sketchy. Yeah. So I stopped with TikTok, but everything that's on TikTok is on Instagram. It's the same thing. Yeah, they just it's the same app. It and literally and has YouTube TikTok shorts, logos. Yeah, in the yeah, yeah, of yeah. Instagram yeah. videos. So I'm not missing anything. I know Facebook already has all my stuff because I've been on there for like 15 years. So <laughs> it's fine. Um, does there anything else you guys want to talk about? I don't know. I'm kind of, I'm tapped. I'm good. It's been two I'm, hours, I think right? it's kind of fun talking about Vegas. I love talking we about Vegas. We live in Las Vegas. We, we do. Need to, we need to take advantage of being Honestly, in Las Vegas. Honestly, we should have a life in Vegas show that we, we really do. should. Life in Vegas. There's a lot like, of, there's a lot of there's cool. There's a lot of people we could interview for that too. There's Heck a lot. Yeah. Listen, there's a lot of really cool nerd stuff in this town. There's mm -hmm. a lot of really cool movie, television based stuff in this town. There's a lot of YouTubers and streamers in this town that we need to meet and get to know and, and, and make friends. You, you know, it's just, this is a really interesting and fun, cool town, and we need we need to take advantage of it. So maybe we'll try to figure that out in the near future. But yeah, I don't have anything else left I need to talk about other than uh, um, I just want to say thanks to our community. Oh one yeah, more time for because sure. you know they've saved us. They there really is have. one more thing that you need to do, Vader. What's that? I'm not showing you my feet, Matt. Uh <laughs> press your <laughs> press your boobs up against the no, camera. I'm not doing oh that either. God. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we love Danny. What's up, dude? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm real. I'm trying to find. So it's um, the schedule for the Formula One is. Oh, I got a map too. I got a map of the yeah. uh, of the route. So it goes past the Bellagio uh -huh. all the way down to Sands Avenue. That's a long way. Holy cow. Sands down the harbor. And then it goes right? down Sands yeah. and then it turns and then it comes back on the, the backside of MGM. Yep. That's a wild dude. That's Tropicana. And no, the, no, no, that's hard. So all this this most of the seating is off of uh right off of Top Golf. Do you know where Top Golf is over there? Yep. It's right behind that. That's where most of the seating seems to be. I'm gonna check Every out. casino is gonna have grandstands out in front of it. Um, tickets start two thousand dollars. Yeah, every and every crazy. casino, every casino on the route. As their own Formula yep. One package. Yep. Oh man, and none of them are cheap. None uh, of them are cheap. How do you want to know how much the pit stop tickets are? Probably three thousand dollars. Thirty five hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. How do there's, we get season tickets for that? Oh my well, there's god. Only, there's only one <laughs> Honestly, race dude, I would do it if yeah. like this. This is what irritates me though. Is like they're taking over our city. Which fine, whatever. Mm -hmm. Make our city cool. What great. But like, there's got to be like a massive locals discount, right? No. Can't they just no. Like, no. 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 Not at all. tourists. Not at all. God, I want to go to this so bad. Thirty-three hundred dollars a ticket. It's not, it's not for ticket. us. It's not they're for probably us. crappy tickets too. Probably can't see anything. You get to see a car go by once yeah. every twenty minutes. I feel yeah. like watching car racing is a, is a waste of time. <laughs> I would rather pay for the pay per view in person. Yeah. yeah, I'd rather pay for the pay per view. I, I mean, like you're sitting there in the bleachers and it's like, zoop, and you're like, That's it. Oh, okay. oh, cool. <laughs> Glad I my I paid for five thousand dollars <laughs> for my wife and I to go to this. It's cool. Yeah, but I wanted to see what the hotel. Nadia is a local discount laugh emoji. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> that's like, about right. Gotta be something. No, come on. Literally anything. My goodness. Yeah, but Tropicana is the only resort that doesn't charge locals Dude, for parking, I'm, and they're tearing that down. I'm yeah. going. Expedia won't even give me prices for November seventeenth no. for that. For the, the, they just, they just, they're like, oh, nope, no, no. You can't. If you're searching on Expedia, you can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's fine. Oh, I need to go man. down and check out the pinball hall of fame. You know, I, I've been I, here. I've been here twelve years. I've never been there. It's I, ridiculous. I don't care about that. why would I? I, I love that. I stuff. don't care about that stuff. I just hope my house was worth like a million dollars by the time it's over, with. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll sell it and leave. <laughs> they can bulldoze it to make a parking lot. It's fine. Uh, all right. Well, I'm out of topics, guys. Yeah, going for yeah. two hours. Let's get out of here. Uh, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate you guys being here. Uh, our audience is amazing. Looking, We're going to be back on our feet next week. We'll be yeah. doing our regular content. I know there's a little bit of a delay. If you're a member or if you're a Patreon member, 
uh, apologize. We haven't really been able to get back to that quite yet, but when we do, you guys will be yeah, the first. I mean, we're, we're still down a camera. We yeah. don't have the fat cam. Yeah, we don't have a fifth camera. <laughs> Darn. And uh, we all hate the fat cam. The I love the fat cam. I look freaking good in the fat cam. I don't know what you guys <laughs> talk about. Um, so yeah, look forward to that, guys. We'll be back up and running next week. We'll be uh, going doing our normal content again, uh, movie reviews, and our, our our members exclusives, and our Patreon content, all that stuff. So thank you all, uh, Vader. Final words. Say goodbye. Oh, final words. Just want to say uh, thank you one more time. I, I am really appreciative of all the support we've gotten. And uh, I'm really appreciative. Uh, I mean, I, man, I am like Tito's. That's not right <laughs> just now. took you out. I didn't even think about it. I'm, I'm, I don't feel that way, but I can't talk. It, it turned you Mexican. It, it, oh, yeah, man, you doing? <laughs> That's not a joint, man. This is a joint. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting all cheat on you. Yeah. Um, um, no, it's just thank you all again for uh, being cool and help and supporting us. And, and we love you. I love you, man. <laughs> I love you, man. Yeah, so yeah, yeah we're good. My wife, Let's get is, out of here. oh my god, my wife became a member of the channel. Oh no, oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> that's my worst nightmare. Oh, it's no. not good at all. Not allowed to watch that stuff. No. But, all right, Jude, say goodbye <laughs> to the people. Uh, goodbye. Terrible. Thank you for being here, and thank you so much for being here with us while we dealt with. This thing that happened that made us all feel really, really vulnerable, and uh, like the community has been really awesome, and and it's really helped our hearts throughout. So thank you. Cool, Kadish. Thanks. See you next week. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks for coming. Stay salty, folks. <laughs>